what's up with a happy Roblox family. Get out of bed. Ay, ay, ay. Come down for some oatmeal with blueberries in five minutes. Okay, Mom. Ugh, these girls. Now, is Daisy oversleeping too? Daisy, are you sick? Yeah, sick of school. Wait, what? You're sick of school? You're never sick of school. What's going on? I just need it to be spring break. After the science fail, I'm just all schooled out. I need a break. Even I need a break sometimes from all the work. Well, sorry, sweetie, but you still have a whole nother week of school to go. Ow. I can't do it, Mom. That's exactly what Molly said. I think she might be wearing off on you, but too bad. Meet me downstairs in five minutes for some oatmeal with blueberries. Oh, you made oatmeal with blueberries? My favorite. If I could just get myself out of bed. Ugh, even look like you need to take a break from school. Well, Mom said we still have to go to school today, but I'm going to do the least amount of work possible until spring break. Because seriously, I need the break. There's my bright and shiny daughter. Yeah, I'm here, Mom. Ugh, I have a whole other week of school. I can't believe it. Well... It's not going to be that bad, I promise. Yeah, that's what you say. You don't even actually have to go to school. Well, that was good old meal, Mom. But I got to run to school before I'm late. We'll take the rest with you, Molly. And don't forget to bring, bring back the bowl. I won't, Mom. Bye. Love you. Bye, Molly. There you are, sleepyhead. You better get off to school. Your sister's already left. And Molly never leaves for school before you. Yeah, what's gotten into you, Daisy? I just need a break from school, that's all. You guys get sick days and personal days from work. Well, we kids need a break every now and again, too. Oh, look at the time. Bye! Bye, Daisy. Have a great day. Oh, you sat on the couch. That's the wrong way to school. It's this game! It always wants me to sit down. <laughs> yeah, it does glitch sometimes. Well, honey, they don't even know how hard they're going to have it as grown-ups. <laughs> Silly kids. Yeah, but let them be kids while they're still kids. There's enough time to be grown-ups in the future. Totally. Well, I gotta get to work. Aww. Love you too, honey. Bye. Such a long walk. Uh oh wait, is that Daisy? Daisy, wait! I'm walking! Sorry, Molly, I already made the time. Daisy, you ran a red light and didn't pick me up. Oh, my sister sometimes is so rude. I wondered when you were gonna show up, Molly. You, you could have picked me up. Yep, I could have, but I just needed the peace and solitude away from my sister for a change. Ugh, sisters! Good morning, class. Good morning. I want to get started right away working on the talent show um, song that we're preparing. So, did everyone practice? Um, uh, Molly, I hope you practiced considering you're the lead singer. <gasps> yeah, Molly, don't let us down. Like, you're the in charge of the entire school band. Uh, no pressure or anything. I practiced my part, even though I'm so ready for spring break. Of course you did, Daisy. All right, guys, let's get started. Oh, okay, Molly, you missed your cues. Stop, stop, stop the music. Dad, you. Gosh, she's so 
terrible. We're going to totally bomb at the talent show. Molly, 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 did you practice at all? And what does your shirt say? No homework? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, exactly. Why don't you go to the principal's office? You've let down the entire band by not practicing. If you continue to not do your homework, you're going to fail this class and want to do all of them. Uh, no, I don't need to go to the principal. Uh, let me try it again. Let me give you some advice if you meet this weird guy. <laughs> Holy guacamole, she's terrible. Ow. Okay, Daisy, okay. No need to say anything rude. We'll just have Molly go because she did not do her homework and she knows three no homeworks in a row means going to the principal's office. No, I'm sick of Molly just making our band sound terrible. This school talent show is important to our class. Molly, you stink. Yeah. Oh, Daisy, this breaks my heart to say this, but you know our no mean words policy here. Okay, it's number five on our policy paper. You had it text to you, emailed to you, printed out to you at the beginning of the year. No mean words towards other students. You have to go to the principal. What? I don't go to the principal, no, 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 unless they have me come in there for like an award or something. Well, today you're going for a totally different reason. Sorry, Daisy. What? No! <laughs> Molly, this is all your fault, I can't believe it. Um, oops. Molly, I'm at the principal's office and he's weird. <laughs> no, he's not, he's totally cool, right? Go, Molly, his eyes. They look like weird and strict. Um, that's because he's the principal. He's supposed to be strict. He has to make sure all the students behave and everybody gets along. Oh boy, this is it gonna be good. I can feel it in my bones. Come on, Daisy, don't be afraid. Well, 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 who do we have here? Oh, it's Molly, again. And who is this? Uh, yeah, I was in here last year for the gifted program. Uh, you gave me that award, remember? Yeah, it's my sister. She's in big trouble for being mean. <gasps> what? Mean? Okay, that's it. I have to do it. I'm calling your parents. What? No, that's a little harsh. That's a little strict, don't you think? Yeah, our parents don't need to know about this. I'm afraid they do. I will begin calling your parents now. What? See, I told you, who says that? I will begin calling your parents now. I mean, who doesn't just call them? He's so weird and strict. Yeah, he's about to call mom and dad. Hi. Hello, who is this? Hello, this is the principal. I just called you. Uh, yeah, she realizes that you're on the phone with her. He's so weird and strict. You are and your husband are going to need to come down to the school immediately. Why, are my girls okay? Is everything all right? Well, yes, they're not hurt, but they are being troublemakers. Uh -oh. Please come to the school right away and bring your husband. Um, okay. Wait, is it just Molly or also Daisy? Both of your daughters. Wait, Daisy? Daisy got in trouble? Well, I guess they believe I could get in trouble, Daisy, but not you. Of course they do. Also, your daughter is wearing an anti-homework shirt. You're not allowed at school. Oh, I didn't see her go out of the house with that. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, I'll be right there with my husband. Thank you. Okay, girls, you can go ahead and just stand over there. I'll just sit here. This is going to be a little bit of a wait. I'm going to stand here nervously. I've got butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> Oh. It hurts so bad. Oh. I can't believe our girls dragged us out of out of work for this. I can't believe Daisy got in trouble. I mean, I expect that from Molly. She's in detention a lot, but Daisy? You may leave. I want to talk to your parents alone. Oh, is it just me or is he getting weirder and stricter by the moment? Something's not right about our principal, that's for sure. I'm putting this on Snapchat. Okay. You are now in my house with my rules. Uh, I thought we were at the school. Yeah, I thought we were at the school. No, the school is my domain. <laughs> and 
your daughters need discipline. Discipline? Who is this guy? Ay, ay, ay. Molly, where'd you go? Molly! She's probably hiding in the bathroom. That's always where she hides when she's about to get in trouble. Today, Molly wore an anti-homework shirt to school. What? I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Um, don't worry. I'm a police officer, so my daughter will behave because, you know, we, we run a pretty tight ship at my house. We're pretty strict. Well, honey, not that strict. You need to get stricter. A lot stricter. <gasps> Daisy, what are you doing? Well, Molly, I was Snapchatting because the principal is just seeming kind of weirder and stricter and crazy. Where have you been? I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I can't see the thought of having mom and dad coming down to the school and hearing how naughty I am every day. Um, just made my tummy a little upset. Yeah, exactly. Mine too. Oh, it looks like mom and dad are coming out of the meeting. Hopefully we don't get grounded for life. Dad! Oh, it's so good to see you! Uh, what are you doing here during the day? You know exactly why I'm here. Girls, go get in the car. Uh-oh! Oh, so just me or does mom and dad look kind of well? Do we look stricter? Because we're about to be. Uh-oh! Molly, Daisy, go inside. You're going to have lots of chores to do. Let's get strict. <laughs> school early. This is not so bad. What are you doing? Um, sitting down, waiting for instructions, of course. You look it up and start on a giant list of chores. Uh-oh! Starting with a whole new wardrobe. What? No, I like my no homework shirt. Not allowed at school. Your mother has put out some new outfits for you upstairs. <laughs> Go and get changed, right? Um, anybody else notice my parents are getting kind of weird and strict? I think we need to Snapchat this. Uh, everybody, look at my parents. They're being weird and strict. No phone. Uh, okay. I'll go up and change. I hope it's a really cute outfit. I like unicorns! My mom couldn't possibly mean this shirt or these clothes that she left out for me. Th there's no way! What? What am I wearing? Well, you wanted to wear something weird, so I decided to give you something weird. Mom, I'm not wearing this out of the house. I look ridiculous. What? You're not a Weird Al fan? Uh, well, yeah, but, you know, having a close-up of his face is a little crazy. Well, I think it's awesome. Mom, no, please. Fine. I picked out some other things I think you'll really like. Try them on. Oh, my mom really has gone... Weird! I don't really know what's going on with my mom right now, but ever since she met with the principal, some crazy things have been happening, and she's decided that she's going to change my outfits. She just thinks that, like, they're not right or something for school, and, oh, look at that one. I made that myself. I can tell because it's weird. What? Did you just call my shirt weird? the shoe fits, wear it, princess. <gasps> I can't believe it. I spent so long making that. Mom, we've been home for like five minutes. It looks like you cut it out of some construction paper or that you printed it off on the printer and like badly cut it out. Yeah. I think it's adorable. You know what? Since you don't appreciate my things that I do for you, I have the perfect outfit. Uh, no, I think I'll pass. Pass! You don't get a choice. I'm the mom. Put it on. Oh no! The meowing cats weren't bad, and the weird owl wasn't bad. This one is going to be bad! I just know it! Oh my god, my mom has dressed me like a noob! It says my oof on my shirt. I don't like this one. I'm not wearing it. You will wear it because I said so. Now, time to do some chores. Oh, I don't like chores. Well, you like them now. Um, okay. Ow! I promise I'll never get to go to the principal level again. I hope we could. No, too late for that. Now mow the lawn. Uh, we don't have any grass. What time am I supposed to mow? Find some grass and mow it. Um, okay. I'll mow the grass. Holy quackaboli. These kids are such brats. It's so weird. 
There's a dog house in our backyard. We don't even have a dog. <coughs> Meanwhile, I'm outside mowing bricks. Tell me you're just standing around not doing any chores. What chores? I see that Daisy's mowing the patio for some reason, and I think you guys are just making up chores that don't even exist. <gasps> oh, really? I want you to serve some dog food for the dogs. Mom, we don't own any dogs. Do as I say. Okay, fine. Dog food. We don't even have dogs. Guys, I don't know what's going on with my parents. They're being insane. <laughs> and they just, like, my dad just had Daisy mow the grass, but there is no grass. And my mom is telling me <laughs> to get dog food served for our dogs, except for... We don't even own dogs. I don't know what she's talking about. Well, surprisingly, we actually had dog food, so I guess I'll go out back and feed the dogs. How you doing mowing that non-existent grass? Ah, oh, it's a lot of work, Molly, but you know, I'm handling it. What do you got dog food for? I'm going to feed our dogs. Molly, we don't have a dog, but all of a sudden there's a dog, a dog house in our backyard. I don't even understand. I don't either. Where's these dogs I'm supposed to be feeding? There you are. Come in here, girls. Um, I didn't feed the dogs yet because I didn't know where to feed them. Set that down on the table, please. Um, okay. Do the, do the dogs eat at the table? They sure do. Maddie, our parents have gone all weird and strict. Shh, here comes mom. Oh, perfect. You set it on the table. Now go ahead and sit down and eat. Wait, what? I thought this was for the dog. Uh-oh. Oh, you girls are going to have dog food surprise for dinner. What? Nah, that's where I draw the line. Oh, really? Sounds like these girls need to be grounded for life. Agreed. No dinner for either of you. I uh, know, I'm really hungry. I'll take the dog food surprise. Nope. To bed. What? Ugh. What is wrong with my parents? They've gone crazy. I didn't even get to eat my dog food snack. Now I'm feeling really sad. This is all your fault, Molly. You're the one that, 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 that got us in trouble in the first place. Well, I didn't break the rule in school. That would be all you. Oh, yeah, yeah, Molly. What are we going to do? First of all, we're going to Snapchat about this in case someone um needs to see this. Like, they'll see it, and then maybe they'll come rescue us. Come on. Come behind me, Daisy. Okay, there we go. Hey guys, it's Molly and Daisy, and our parents have gone weird and strict, and we definitely need some help over here, um, so try to find us if you can, okay, uh, um, because, uh, Molly, just give them the, uh, address. We're not supposed to give our address out on the internet. Oh yeah, just find us if you can, because our parents have gone weird and strict. Okay, I'm sending the story to everybody at school. Someone will come rescue us. Molly, I hear mom and dad. Quick, put away your phone. Get into bed. Pretend you're sleeping. Okay, Molly, I'm, I'm going to pretend. Close your eyes if you're pretending. What's this? Two sleeping girls? I guess I don't have to give them another punishment. Yeah, but punishing them is fun. <laughs> Told you they were weird and sweet. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> me for a snack five seconds ago but i'm still hungry can i have some treats maybe some chocolate a uh, candy bar something like that no your mom said no garbage food while i was on duty sorry but but hannah you have to let me eat some chocolate preferably i would like to have a hershey's bar or uh, maybe like something with peanut butter in the center what are those called again Reese cups yeah Reese cups can i have one of those <laughs> you're too funny molly but no Oh, okay, I guess I have to entertain myself a different way. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, are you seriously jumping on the couch? If I turn around and still see you jumping on the couch, you're going to be in so much trouble. I'm still jumping. You should probably give me some chocolate. Molly. Okay, you have five seconds to get down, Molly. One, two, three. <sighs> Thank you, Molly. Four, five. We were just counting my jumps. Please do your chores. Please, Molly. D 
do your chores. Okay, jeepers, Hannah, you've gotten kind of bossy. Well, uh, I'm not bossy, I'm a good babysitter. You're just driving me crazy. Okay, I'll do my chores. Mom always keeps some extra cookies in here. And I'm going to eat them. Da, 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 da. What, your mom doesn't keep cookies in the safe? Must be you don't like to eat cookies as much as I do. <laughs> mm, that's a really good cookie. Mm, no wonder mom was hiding them from me. Mommy, are you eating sweets? I told you not to eat sweets. Yeah, and now I have way too much energy. Oh, no. Don't tell me you're going to bounce on the couch again. And you're eating a cookie. You're getting crumbs everywhere. Your mom's going to be so mad at me. Molly, that's it. I quit. Wait, Hannah. H Hannah? Uh-oh. Another one bites the dust. Yum. The babysitter, that is, not the cookie. I can't believe I'm looking for a new babysitter again. Mommy keeps making all of the babysitters quit, and I need to be able to get to my job every day. Uh, what am I going to do? I know. I'll Google it. Babysitter that can handle bratty, misbehaving children. <gasps> well, mostly just Molly, but anyway. Oh, your kid will behave with my babysitting? Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. I guess I'll send her a message. Hi, I'm looking for a babysitter for my three kids. One is trouble. Don't worry, she'll behave with me. Well, you're hired. to wake up. Ugh. Ugh. Nah, Hannah usually lets us sleep in, Mom. Well, Hannah's not your babysitter today, Molly. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, baby Kira, I know you're hungry. Molly, get out of bed, seriously. What, why, what, what's going on? Where's Hannah? She quit, remember? Ow. Ugh. Oh yeah, well I guess you get to stay home with us then, Mom. No, Molly, I have to work, and you have to be with the new babysitter. Now get out of bed so you can meet her. What? A new babysitter? <laughs> I'll have her quitting in less than 10 hours. <laughs> now girls, specifically Molly, I want you to be on your best behavior. This babysitter was the last resort and very expensive. So gluey, Mom, I'll behave as usual. Um, no promises. Uh -oh. Molly! Okay, fine, I'll try my best. I could jump on couch like Molly. No, baby Kira, do not act like Molly. Molly's very naughty. I don't want to be like Molly. I love her. Baby Kira, try to be like Daisy, please. Oh, she just texted me. Her name's Brooke, by the way. Brooke? Like Brookie? Like my best friend? Uh-huh, sure. She's probably awesome like Brookie then. Everyone named Brooke, Brookie, whatever. They're all awesome. Ooh, pancakes. Mama, you try to make Molly be nice so she behaves. Uh, yes, absolutely, Daisy. Mmm, those are good, Mom. Thanks. You're welcome. Baby Kira, what are you doing? You're not allowed to have my phone. I think Mom play with phone can you fine. No, no screen time this morning. Eat your baby food. I don't want you to play with your phone. Oh, so I'm going to be the naughty one with the babysitter, huh? Not one hour later. Molly, the new babysitter's here. Try to behave yourself. As I said, no promises. Good morning. I'm Brooke. No television. But I was watching gymnastics. On my watch, there's no television and there's no fun. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Mom, I owed a prison guard. Especially because of you, Molly. What? It's not my fault. I can't go by and get that from your fault, Molly. <gasps> I'm not a prison guard. I'm a last chance babysitter. Let me tell you, I don't quit. You will behave. Now let's see. 
it's already pretty late. Time for those chores. Um, we don't really do chores on this day. Well, now you do chores every day I'm here. Starting with my laundry. Hop two. Your laundry. But, 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 but. Wow, this is a lot of laundry. Why are you bringing it here? You could have done it at home. I don't think so. Now, we will be going out for exercise in approximately 30 minutes. Uh oh. So hurry up with that laundry. Oh, boy. Should have been nicer to Hannah, I guess. This is terrible. Maddie, don't complain. This lady seems crazy. Who knows what she'll do? Well, hopefully she she lets us go outside. Yeah, well, she already said we have to go out and exercise. You'll fave me. Um, I don't exercise unless you count eating cookies. That's a lot of exercise for my mouth. Chew, 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 chew. Oh, boy. I, 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 looking up reviews on this babysitter. Everyone doesn't even know who she is. Where'd mom even find this lady? Hop, hop, hop to their little bunnies. Time to go outside and get some exercise. Um, I don't exercise. Wait, where's my stroller? Your stroller? You're not a baby. Well, I could probably squeeze in there with baby here. Wait, come back here. Uh, no, you are going to get some exercise. No lazy kids on my watch. Whoa, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, you're kind of grumpy there, Brooke. I don't think you should be talking to me that way. Would you like a timeout for the rest of the day? Does the timeout include cookies, sitting down and watching TV? No, it includes an underground prison that I've made in your basement. Wait, what? When did you have time to do that? Probably while we were doing our laundry. Oh my gosh, look at your nails. Those are crazy. But anyway, could you help me? Excuse me, excuse me. Ooh, nice Louis Vuitton bag. Molly, quit getting distracted. Um, wait, come back. My babysitter, she's evil. I need help. Your babysitter seems super nice, kid. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, Molly, there you are. You ready to have a fun day at the park? Brooke, you're wearing a smile? Who are you even? You were just a grumpy, miserable, mean babysitter. What? I have no idea what she's talking about. Don't listen to her. Um, do you, do you, seriously, listen to her. She's, she's just acting right now. Molly, I'm the nicest babysitter ever. What are you talking about? Now, come on. Okay, maybe I just misjudged her. Maybe she's not as evil as I thought. I just need to give her a chance. Glad you could join us, little brat. What? You were just so nice in front of that other lady. Yeah, but at last chance babysitting, I don't want to be nice. I want you to behave. Whoa! Um, so you are actually mean? Ugh, no. I'm honest. You're a brat. Oh, that's not very nice. I'm gonna go jump on the trampoline. Not today, Molly. Get down. No fun for you since you can't really behave yourself, ever. Oh my gosh, okay. I guess I'll just go stand over here then. Guys, I need to come up with a plan because this babysitter is super mean and grumpy. I'm gonna expose her on Snapchat. Then, everyone in, in Roblox, they'll have to believe me. Okay, it's Molly here, guys, and I just wanna make this little video because my mom hired this babysitter and she's so mean. So I'm about to show you guys so everybody will know. Did I say you could have any fun? I don't think so. I want to have fun because I'm at the park. I don't think so, kid. No fun. Ah! See? She just made my little sister cry. Time to send this to everybody in Roblox. Hmm, what's this? I got a new snap. Wait, what? Is that babysitter being mean to you, honey? Yeah, and, and, and we need to call the cops. I think we just need to call your mom. Holy macaroni, there's an evil mean babysitter in here. <gasps> Cute guy, that's right. Um, I, I don't know what to do. We're gonna call your mom, that's what. Oh, Molly, everybody in all of Wubai's got your snap. Including the babysitter. Maybe we should take baby Kira and run. What? You posted this snap? 
that's it. You are gonna have a timeout forever. I don't think so, lady. Marley, run! God, this lady's crazy. Big in here. We need a ride. Get in, Molly. What's going on? Do you have room for my little sister? Do you have a car seat? Uh, we're just right here. We're, we're, we're kind of good. You need to take us to the hospital. Why? Did someone lose an arm or something? No. Ew. Gross. Um, no. We this we have this really evil babysitter. And can you just drive the car while you sit in here? Sorry. I didn't really get a really big uh, brain when I decided to be this bacon hair dude. Follow it, dude! Okay, I'm not very good at driving. Hey, man, can I have a ride? No, sorry, I gotta take these kids to the hospital. Something about losing an arm? Dude, bacon hair, we didn't lose an arm. Oh my god, this guy can't drive. Park it so I can drive it! Molly, we'd be faster off just running! Yeah, she's got a point. Let's go. <coughs> ah, and then I almost got run over by the free candy guy. Okay, um, when I see my mom, I am going to scream that she hired this babysitter. DZ, the hospital is right here. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. My brain was like in scared mode. Daisy, I'm confused. I don't know which one to go to. Imaging or emergency? I mean, I took an image with the Snapchat, but this is an emergency. Are you serious right now, Molly? Yeah, which one is it? Molly, imaging is for like an MRI or like x-ray. We have to go to an emergency. That's where mom works. Plus, this is an emergency, right? Ay, 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 yeah, yeah, Molly. I can't even with you. Mom! 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 Molly, I don't think you're supposed to run through the hospital like that. Oh, Molly! What's going on? Why are you here? Are you okay? Where's Where's my girls? Oh, okay. What's going on, girls? Mom, the babysitter's evil! What? No, you just don't like her because she makes you do your chores. Our chores? She made us do her laundry. Then she calls me a brat and she's really mean to me. What? What are you talking about? Mom, pull out your phone. Um, I sent you a chat, but you were a Snapchat, but you were just busy like with patients or something. Okay, well, let me look at my phone and see what you're talking about. Wait, what? She was mean to my baby? All three of them? That's it. She's fired and getting one star on Google. Yeah, um, last chance babysitting is not a very good business. Oh, I'm sorry, girls. But, Molly, you were so naughty, I couldn't get any babysitter to not quit. Don't worry, Mom. I've learned my lesson. I've really learned it. I'm only going to eat one cookie and bounce on the couch once a day, instead of more like a hundred. Molly! Molly. Okay, how about just one cookie and no bouncing on the couch? Molly. Mom! I can't live without my cookies! <laughs> Did you get an email from my teacher about this science test? What? No, I, I don't think so. Oh, no. Did you study? No, but I didn't. Oh, God, I'm going to fail. Um, Daisy, you pay attention in class. I doubt very much you're going to fail. <laughs> oh, baby Kira, I know that you're cutting a tooth and that hurts. I already gave you some medicine, though. I'm sorry, sweetie. Would you like a popsicle? <laughs> Oh boy, it's going to be a very long day. Tell me about it! I'm gonna fail my science test! Oh god, this is the worst day ever! Ah, I'm uh, starving and I'm still half asleep. Mom, where's breakfast? What? Um, you were gonna have cereal this morning. No, Mom, I want French toast! <coughs> Sorry, Molly, I'm taking care of baby Kira right now. She's getting a tooth in and she's not feeling very good. But mom, I'm not going to feel very good if I don't start my day off with French toast. But what about my science test? Ay, 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 ay. You know what? I think I need a day off. I'm calling your grandma. What? Why? We're the best kids in the world. Yeah, what are you talking about, mom? I'm talking about the fact that I need a break. Hello? Oh, I need you to come watch the kids today. I just need to get out of the house for like a few hours. Can you come by after school? Oh, yes, dear. I'll be there. Grandma's coming! Hooray! Oh, what? You're more excited about Grandma than me? 
Yes, because she makes us cookies and she lets us watch TV. And she's not well a uh, mom. Ah! Okay, baby Kira. Shh, 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 shh. Girls, I need you to get off to school, and um, Grandma will be here when you get back, okay? Okay, Mom, I hope you have a good day, because I know I won't when I fail my science test. Daisy, you've never failed a test in your entire life. Well, getting a 92 is still failing. Wait, what? <laughs> no, it's not. Getting an F is failing. I should know. I get enough of them. Ay, ay, ay. My life is over. Daisy, it's going to be fine. I mean, my problems are much worse than yours. I only have to eat cereal today. And I want it fresh now! I love cats. I love every type of cat. Cats make me smile. And so don't my grandkids. I can't wait to see them. <laughs> oh, who's that? I've never seen him in the neighborhood before. Hello. <laughs> I'm new to the neighborhood. Oh, um, you look, well, very... Um, friendly. I am. I also have a basket full of treats and goodies. Would you like one, Granny? Um, well, um, I don't know. Where'd you get that basket from? It looks like you stole it from Whole Foods. You're not a thief, are you? What? No, this is my basket. I bought it at Target. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 you don't even have to pay me for these treats. I have delicious apples in here. Don't you want one, Granny? Well, I didn't get a chance to eat lunch today, so... Or breakfast, or... When was the last time I ate? Oh, I guess I was just not thinking because I was too busy taking care of all my cats. I have 50, you know. Okay, lady, enough about the cats. Do you want the apple or not? Oh, well, yes, I'll take one of those apples, thank you. Oh, it looks like it's kind of a funny color. Well, it's not like it's poisoned or anything. Just eat it, lady. Okay, don't have to be so bossy there, Junior. Mm, that's a pretty good apple. Now, are your grandkids evil? What? No, of course not. I said your grandkids are evil. <laughs> My grandkids are evil. Your grandkids need to be punished. My grandkids need to be punished. <laughs> and your grandkids are. And my grandkids are. Well, what are they? Uh, I don't know. You're the ones changing me into the weird strict grandma. You tell me. <laughs> oh, I have to do all the work around here. Bad. Very, very bad. Uh -oh. Your grandkids are bad. My grandkids are bad. Very, very bad. Have a nice visit with your grandkids. <laughs> I'm putting this on Snapchat because I gave that cute little granny one of my poison apples. Yeah. And I can't wait to see what happens when she's the weird, strict grandma. <laughs> Who knew I looked so handsome on Snapchat? <laughs> oh, I'm so cute. I can't believe I failed my science test. Daisy, you didn't fail. Holy guacamole. You got a 95. To me, that's failure. Daisy, you need to stop being so hard on yourself. You're doing your best, and you're not perfect. Well, I guess you have a point. But still, I need to do better next time if I'm going to be a world famous scientist. Daisy, you're going to be exactly what you say you're going to be because you're Daisy and you're an overachiever. But come on, live a little. I mean, eat some pizza, don't study so much. Whoa, the door's open. That's weird. Well, my, Molly, Grandma's getting older. She's probably a bit forgetful. Grandma! Oh, I ran into the wall because I forgot where the door is. Womp womp. <laughs> Whoa, Grandma, you got a new look. What's going on with you? Ah, Grandma! Um, you need to fire your hair, your hairdresser, your makeup artist, your clothing designer, wherever you got this look from. Uh, it's creepy. What are you talking about? Don't be rude. Oh, sorry, Grandma. I didn't mean to be rude. You're still my grandma. Still, I still love you, even if you do look a little creepy. Grandma, where's the fresh baked cookies? And where's baby Kiwa? Uh, 
she's usually awake and she's watching Coco Melon by now. I don't know. I I think she's still in her crib. What? That sounds weird. Is she okay? I don't know. Uh, Grandma? Okay. I hope you're feeling okay. I'm gonna go check on baby Kira. Baby Kira! Baby Kira! Weird. She's taking an extra long nap. Must be she was just hurting because she, um, was cutting a new tooth. And I remember when I was her age and I was getting my teeth, I slept extra long because... It just, like, wipes you out when you feel, like, pain from growing your teeth in and stuff. It's just hard, so she's probably just extra tired. It's okay, baby Kira. You sleep as much as you need to. All right, now time to go eat some cookies. Okay, Grandma, where are the cookies? What cookies? Uh, the cookies that you were making us? I didn't make you any cookies. Wait, what? Grandma, I've been looking forward to chocolate chip cookies, your famous ones, all day long. And, 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 I didn't even buy an ice cream for dessert at school just so I have extra room for the cookies. And you didn't make any cookies! Molly, chill out. Don't be rude. Sorry, it's just Grandma. I was really looking forward to those cookies. Can you please make some now? Uh, let me think about it. No. What? Grandma, what's gotten into you? Okay, fine. And Well, I guess we'll just have dinner, but can we watch some TV? No. You kids are brats and you watch way too much TV. It's gonna rot your brains. Well, too late for Molly, who brain already is body. Daisy! <laughs> Just kidding, sort of. Grandma, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into you is that you two are little brats. Brats? Did you just call us brats? But you're, we're your sweet little grandchildren. You're little angels. Yeah, right. Angels, okay. Why don't you two start cleaning and getting this place picked up? Um, Grandma, it's like spotless. What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't even see a speck of dirt anywhere. That's not true. There's definitely dirt. Find it. Um, Grandma? Okay. She's gone senile. She's gone crazy. Call the hospital. No, I think Grandma's just turned into strict Grandma. What? Strict Grandma? Yes, and if you don't follow my rules, you're going to be grounded from your best friend, Brookie, for a month. Can she do that, Daisy? I wouldn't find out, Molly. <laughs> what is she laughing about? And why is she jumping on the couch? She has gone crazy! She's weird! And she's strict! And did you notice something about her? She's got really weird eyes. Let me go look. Wow, Grandma. What creepy eyes you have. Better to watch you with. And Grandma, what gross teeth you have. Better to eat sauerkraut sandwiches with. Um, okay. I don't even know what to say to that, but you're just creepy, Grandma. Ah, correction. She's the weird, strict granny. That's right. And when I'm here, you'll do what I say. Now, Molly. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be good. I know she's going to tell me something I don't want to do. Why aren't you sitting down? Are you lazy? Uh, no. It's just the game sometimes makes you sit down when you're near the furniture. Likely excuse. You sound like you're a liar and lazy. Uh-oh. Grandma, I don't know what's gotten into you. You used to be such a nice grandma. Something must have happened to you today. Now, Molly, I have a task for you, and it's not asking me a million questions about why I'm the weird, strict grandma. First, I have 50 cats. I know. Uh, that has always been the weird part about you, even before you turned crazy. I love cats, every type of cat. They're my friends. Uh-huh, okay. But one of them has fleas, and it got in my hair. And I think between my toes. Ew, gross! Yes, totally. And you're gonna pick the fleas off of my hair and between my toes. Oh, Grandma, I don't know. That sounds like a job that you should go to, like, the salon for. Yeah, or the doctor. No, 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 no. I don't have time for that. They're really itching me. 
Oh, so itchy. It's itching me. Oh, Grandma, take a chill pill. Holy guacamole, what's going on with you? Oh, the fleas. They're all over me and they're so itchy. Get them off. Okay, Grandma, sit down. It's okay. I'll, I'll help you out. Uh, Grandma, I don't think your feet are supposed to be that color. What's going on with your toenails? You look like a zombie. Well, Grandma is pretty old. <laughs> Maybe she is a zombie. <laughs> I'm not a zombie. I just haven't washed my feet in a little while. Yeah. I can't really reach them anymore. Ooh, that sounds gross, Grandma. Well, that's where you come in. Now pick those fleas out before they get stuck in my toe jams and end up there forever. <laughs> I want my mommy! I want my mommy! Are you going to do this or what? I'm getting itchy again! Hurry, dear, before this one gets away. Ah! Oh my god! This is a giant flea in here! Oh, it was between Grandma's toes! Ah! 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 Is it still chasing me? Oh god. I think it stayed in the house. Oh god, here it comes! Ah! It's a giant flea that was in between my Grandma's toes! That's so gross! You stay back, you evil looking thing! Oh, thank you! You saved me! I was stuck in Granny's toe jams for months! I'm free! I'm free! Um, okay, that was weird. Bye! Uh, bye bye Ugh, even fleas don't want to hang out with my weird strict grandma. <laughs> grandma, I took care of all the fleas between your toes and in your hair. Could you please make dinner now? I'm really hungry. Oh, yes, dear. I'll make you dinner. Really? Oh, yeah, you definitely took all the fleas off of me, so I'll be really nice to you. How about a bean burrito? Yeah, Grandma. That would be lovely. <coughs> Even my grandma's just crazy, not weird and strict or something. Hooray! Hooray! I'm having a bean burrito for dinner, for dinner. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Get over here, Molly, and eat something. Okay, I'm just gonna go check on baby Kira really quick. Hold on. Since nobody else is, poor baby Kira. She's been sick and she's just like cutting teeth and oh, she's still sleeping. Aww. Pretty sure she's gonna sleep all the way till tomorrow, which is probably a good thing, baby Kira, because we have the weird strict granny here. I don't know what happened to her, but she's bonkers. Well, at least she made us a bean burrito, so that's pretty good. You took forever. Sorry, Grandma. I was checking on baby Kira. Mmm. This bean burrito is delicious. Mmm. Uh, Molly? Th 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 there's something on your bean burrito. It looks like a bug. What? Yeah. There's something on your bean burrito that looks like a bug. Ew, gross. We both have bugs on our bean burritos. I'm going to throw up. Ah. Ew, gross! Now I'm gonna throw up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like some of the bugs that came from Ooh. my house got in my clothes. I have cockroaches. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on my Snapchat. <laughs> what? No, you're not gonna put this on our Snapchat! Too late. I was filming while you guys were eating those buggy burritos. What? Oh, I'm gonna be the laughing stock of the entire town! Daisy, take the bean burrito out of your mouth before you throw up more. I can't, it's like stuck! Ew, gross! Let me pull it off your face, Daisy! Okay, there. Daisy? Daisy? I've been dead from this! Daisy, you wouldn't be talking if you were dead from this. I feel dead. They killed me, it was so gross! Oh, <laughs> this is Snapchat gold. This is perfect for my Snapchat. Wait a minute. My grandma doesn't even know how to use a phone. She has to have one of those old jitterbug phones that are like just the numbers and they're like really big. You don't even barely know how to text. Well, granny just got with the program. Well, then maybe you should get the, the program about getting a pedicure on those toes of yours before you turn into an actual zombie. Daisy, get up. Get up. Come on. I can't, Molly. I am deceased. Oh, my God. There's only one thing to do. Ah! Get back here. 
Okay, well, Grandma's in charge. What? You're going to go to bed, and I'm not going to catch you out of bed, not even once. Uh, Daisy, you better get up. I'll sleep way right here. Get up and go to your room! Okay, well, Daisy, good luck. Uh, this weird, strict grandma is driving me crazy. Oh, wait, Daisy, I forgot where I live for a second. Maddie, you know what room is yours, right? Yeah. Okay, I just have to pretend I'm sleeping so weird, strict grandma doesn't know. I'm sleeping in here with you, Molly. No, you're not! I am, Molly. Okay, fine. I better not catch you out of bed. Daisy, what are we going to do about this? Snapchat it, Molly. She's crazy. Okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to get on the door. Okay, there we go. Here she comes. I can hear her footprints. I mean her footsteps. Her footprints. Ah! Oh my god, she is so creepy. What are you doing? Oh, I guess they're just sleeping. Little brats. Daisy, I got her saying that weird little brats. And she looks all weird and crazy. Send it to mom. She'll come get us. Okay, here goes nothing. Daisy, there's no signal on my phone. Wait, what? what? Ugh, the internet at this house is so terrible. Why is this happening? Rumati, you need to sneak outside and send it for my veil. Are you crazy? Do I hear somebody moving around? Oh, back in bed. <laughs> okay, sleep. Oh, good. I was beginning to wonder if someone would need a punishment. <laughs> oh, God, she really is crazy. Good luck, Molly. I hope you don't die. Me too, Daisy. Me too. Okay. Oh, she's watching nothing. She's not even watching TV. How am I going to sneak by her? Very carefully. Do I hear something? Whoa. Whoa. Uh -oh. oh, God. Here she comes. Um, where am I going to sleep? Okay, here we go. I could have swore I heard something. Uh, my hearing isn't what it used to be. Okay. How do you almost get caught? Maybe I can go out the window. Oh, she locked the windows. I can't get out. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, there she is. I have to sneak by her. Who's there? Ah! Oh my god, damn, I'm making a break for it! Uh, okay, I gotta see if I can send this snap to my mom. Mom, help! Okay, I'm sending it to my mom right now. Alright, here we go, guys. I sent it, I sent it. Oh god, mom! Hurry! Weird straight grandma! Where do you think you're going? Daisy, do you want to come outside and play soccer with me? Sorry, Molly, but I have to do some studying. Daisy, come on. Don't be such a bookworm all the time. Molly, studying is very important for my brain health and growth. And getting fresh air is also important for you. Come on, Daisy. All right, Molly, I'll come out for half an hour. Then I can come back to study. Yes! Finally, I can practice my soccer drills with somebody. La, 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 la. Where's that soccer ball? Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, Molly, what are you playing soccer so much for lately? I want to try to make it onto the soccer team at school. La, 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 la. I'm going to be amazing at soccer. Here you go, Daisy. I kicked it to you. Well, that wasn't exactly to me, but, you know, close enough. <laughs> I still need a little bit of practice, that's for sure. We could get an ice cream cone after this. Molly, I told you I have to study. I keep tripping over this. Why does it keep following me? Ah! It's like caught in a loop. That was really weird. Don't do that on soccer tryout day, Molly. Oh, man. It went to the shrubs over here. Bull, come back here. Don't go down the hill. Don't you dare. Don't go down the hill. Oh, my God. I hate when this happens in Brookhaven. <laughs> Seriously. You know what I do when this happens, Daisy? What, Molly? What? I just spawned a new soccer ball. I'm not chasing it. Like, seriously, that's just ridiculous. Hey, Molly, look, it's Brookie. Oh, Brookie, hi. You want to play soccer with us? Sorry, Molly, can't. I, um, have to go home right now. Why? You got to go poo poo or something? We have a bathroom, you know. No, I just can't today. Sorry, Molly. But she always 
just wants to hang out with me. But maybe she's just busy today, Molly. Since when has my BFF ever been too busy to hang out with me? Uh, yeah, you have a point. But I'm sure she has a good reason. Don't fret about it, Molly. Girls, come on in. I made a delicious snack. Chocolate chip cookies. Okay, soccer, pra soccer practice is over. Time for a cookie. <laughs> I love when mom makes cookies. Mmm, these are delicious. Now remember, girls, one cookie a piece. These cookies are huge. And you don't want to spoil your appetite for your healthy dinner. No, we wouldn't want to do that. Just kidding. Give me all the cookies. Molly, don't be rude. Just say please and only one. Mmm, ah, these cookies are so good. Um, can I please have about five more? <laughs> Molly, maybe tomorrow you can have another one. I have to wait until tomorrow? I better really take my time with this cookie. It's all I'm getting. It's all I'm getting! Molly, you're so dramatic. I said tomorrow you could probably have another one. That's tomorrow! Today's today! Ay, 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 Molly. Today's almost over and you still have to eat dinner. Mmm. I think chocolate chip cookies make the perfect dinner. <laughs> the next morning. Good morning, students. Good morning, Mrs. S. Today, we're going to be practicing our spelling words. Ugh. I studied so hard for this, Mrs. S. Great job, Daisy. I knew you would. All right. For our first word, Molly, why don't you come up, onto the, um, come up to the board and spell it for me? Uh-oh. What's it going to be? Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus? Oh, I get to spell the hardest word of the entire spelling quiz. Oh, hip, uh, hip, uh, hip. Okay, and then I remember it was O, O, P, O, T, A, M, U, S. Yeah, that's it. Definitely. <laughs> What's so funny, Daisy? <laughs> you spelled hip poop tonibus. Hip poop tonibus. <laughs> what? What? Um, Molly, did you mean to spell the word poop on the board? <laughs> Molly. Um, uh, okay, let me fix it. Is that better? Spell it out for me, Molly. H I P P O P O T A M U S. Very good, Molly. And for the actual quiz, remember there's no poop in hippopotamus. Actually, if they eat enough food, there is definitely. Molly, sit down, please. <laughs> oh, boy, lunch. We're even having bean burritos today. Hey, Brookie, wait up. Sorry, Molly, I have to get my bean burrito and then I have to get going. What? Um, yeah, I'm not going to be in the lunchroom today. Why, do you have a doctor's appointment or something? Going to Disney World? Tell me what's happening. No, I'm just going to do uh, something else in the art room. What? But we always sit next to each other at lunch. I know, but not today, Molly. I'm really sorry. But, but Brookie, we're BFFs and we always sit together at lunch. Okay, Molly. Uh, where's your school lunch ticket? Oh, I forgot it at home. I'm sorry, Large Marge. Seems that nothing's going right for me today. What do you mean, Molly? You need to talk to somebody about this? Uh, yeah. Thanks for listening, Large Marge. No, the school counselor's down the hall. I'm just a lunch lady. I, I, I'm not good at listening. But, but... Sorry, all I do is make bean burritos. <laughs> and they're good, Large Marge. Thanks for listening, I guess. Molly, where's Bucky? She's, um, not gonna sit by us today. Say what? What are you talking about? She always sits next to you, Molly. I know, but today she has something else to do. What's gotten into her? I don't know what's gotten into her. She just seems to be, well, distracted. And maybe she doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Molly, I don't think that's it. Oh, uh, it might be it. Large Marge, you said you weren't listening to my problems. Sorry, <laughs> couldn't help it over here. Well, you're not very helpful either, Large Marge. Good thing you're the lunch lady and not the school counselor. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just eat your bean burrito. It'll make you feel better. Nothing's going to make me feel better till I figure out what's going on with Brookie. Well, you could just invite her out for ice cream. Tell her it's your treat. If she refuses that, then I know something's wrong. She loves chocolate ice cream. You've got a point, Daisy. I'm going to do it today after school. 
A few hours later. Oh, hey, Molly. Hey, Brookie. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Um, do you want to walk home? Sorry, I need to take the school bus. But I was thinking that... Uh, wait, Brookie, wait, I'm trying to tell you something. Oh, sorry, Molly, I've been in such a rush today. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to ask you if you wanted to go get ice cream with me. Uh, I, I'll pay for it, my treat. Uh, two scoops of chocolate with chocolate sauce, your favorite. Oh, that sounds really good, Molly, but I'm really sorry. I can't. I have to get right home. Bye! Oh, Molly, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Bit an alien took over your friend. What? No, that's not it. Oh, and I missed the bus, so now I've got to walk home alone. I could walk home with you. Uh, no. Pass. Molly! Well, you're my sister and you're kind of annoying. Uh, I've been trying to help you all day. I've got something else that I need to do. I'm sorry, Daisy. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to see at the library and study a little bit anyway. I hope you figure out things with Brookie. Thanks. I think I'm going to need a lot of luck. Oh my gosh, what is going on with my BFF? Does she not want to be my friend anymore or something? I have an idea. <laughs> I'm going to go to her house without her knowing and spy on her. Okay, maybe that's not a great idea, but um, it's probably a good one. Molly, don't do it. You know that you shouldn't spy on your friend when she doesn't know you're there. Who said that? I'm your angel of consciousness, and I, I tell you to do good things. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Huh? What? what? Why am I hearing all these voices? <laughs> I'm the little devil that lives inside you. And I say spy on your friend. Spy, spy, spy. Don't listen to him, Molly. He's evil. What? I don't know who to listen to, but I got to figure out what my best friend is doing. So, sorry, Angel. I'm listening to the little devil inside of me. <laughs> Molly, no! <laughs> so glad we got rid of her. Come on, let's go. Okay, probably listening to you is a bad idea, but I do need to see what Brookie's up to. <laughs> and we're about to find out. All right, here's Brookie's house. I'm going to guess she's probably in her room, and I can't go inside, so I'm going to try to climb this tree, and ugh, I'm not very um, good at climbing this particular type of tree because there's nothing to grab onto, and what's that sound? Sounds like it's coming from her garage. All right, guys, I'm going to be very careful and sneak up so she doesn't see me spying on her. What is she doing? She's building something. Wonder what it could be. She probably doesn't want to be your friend anymore. Yeah, devil, she probably doesn't want to. Molly, think this through before you do something crazy. She's your best friend. Don't listen to Angel. You should be mad about this. Yeah, I think I should be mad about this. Now both of you go poof. Brookie, what do you think you're doing? What? <gasps> Molly, what are you doing here? Um, this isn't, this, this isn't what you think. It looks exactly like what I think. You are ignoring me and being rude to me. And, and maybe you don't even want to be my best friend anymore. Molly, where is this coming from? What do you mean, where is this coming from? First of all, you didn't want to hang out with me the other day. Then you didn't want to sit with me at lunch. Then you didn't even want to go get an ice cream when I was paying for it. What's wrong with you anyway? What are you doing? Um, Molly, I was taking all this time to build you a birthday present. What? Yeah, and, and I wanted it to be a big surprise. Well, it was still rude. I mean, you always spend time with me. And, and why would you be rude and not just tell me? Because, Molly, it was a surprise. I can't tell you about a birthday present that's a surprise. Oh, well, Skylar, hurt my feelings. You know what, Molly? I was going to give you this ice cream cart as your birthday present, but now I think you don't even deserve it for being so mean. So I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to eat all the ice cream. It's delicious. The chocolate is especially good. You're not going to let me even have any of my own birthday ice cream? Why should I let you have any? And it's not your birthday present because I didn't give it to you yet. Miss, I'm so rude. Um, uh, uh. Molly, just get out of my garage. No! I told you that wasn't going to go very well. I warned you. Well, why didn't you warn me louder? Sorry, it's not in me to be rude. Don't listen to her. You yelled at her for a good reason. You two are way too loud. Well, Molly, maybe next time you can, um, well, you can just try not to be so mean. But in the meantime, you can apologize to your friend. Don't do it. She's evil. You don't want to be her friend. Ugh, 
You guys are so annoying to me right now. And besides, I'm pretty sure that Brookie doesn't want to be my friend anymore. This is going to be the worst birthday of my life. <laughs>
Okay, well, can you do this? Let's twist again. Let's twist again. I can also do backflips. Oh, yeah, well. Ah, why is everybody just saying mean things like that? I can't do it as good as you can. Molly, she did. She said that I did it. I could do a backflip, see? I could do a backflip too. Yeah, well, I'm a much better dancer than you are. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have eaten so many donuts. Oh, I don't feel so good. Marley, just stop doing the backflips. But if I stop doing them, then she wins. I already won. I'm a much better dancer than you'll ever be. <laughs> Wait a minute, am I at the news station? Who cares? I'm just sitting here. <laughs> and we're on air in three, two, one, rolling. Wait a minute, has anyone ever seen this news anchor before? Huh, what? Breaking news! Here we're with our new news anchor. Uh, what's your name? Uh, uh, my Molly? That's right, we're here with Molly, and she's wearing her dance uniform. I don't really know why, but she's going to tell us the news. The news is that that I, uh, I'm I'm a terrible dancer. <laughs> and I just wanted to be a great ballerina, and I'm not a great ballerina. And it was it. Uh, who hired this news anchor? Uh, she's losing her mind on TV. I don't know why Sarah always calls me a loser, and I just feel so sad. Okay, let's get her out of here. Come on, let's go out of this, out of here. What? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to take over your your new station. It's just close to the dance studio. I needed a place to cry by myself. <laughs> Molly, Molly, where are you? She just humiliated herself in front of everyone on public television. Pretty sure she's never gonna come back to a dance class ever again. Oh my gosh, I've gotta hide. Okay. Where could I hide? Where could I hide? Okay, I'll just hide behind this cabinet over here. No one will ever see me. Molly, where are you? Molly? Ma Molly, I see you. What are you doing? You don't see me. I'm hiding. Molly, I'm standing right next to you. I don't care. You still can't see me. Molly, what is going on with you? I mean, I sort of know. She said I was a terrible dancer, and I'm not as good as she is. Molly, you are as good as she is. Yes, Sarah's a great dancer, but she's also rude. And you're not rude, well, most of the time you're nice. And that counts for something. I don't know, I just, I feel sad because I, I wasn't expecting her to be able to bully me about my dancing because I'm so good at it. You're still really good at dancing, Molly. It's just Sarah wants to, you know, make you feel like you're not because she's mean like that. But you can't let her win. Come back to the dance studio and be your beautiful dancer self. Yeah, you're right. Why would I let her win? Exactly, Molly. Now, come on. I'm the best dancer in the world. Sarah, you should try to be more humble. I'm going to dance like I love to dance. My whole heart loves to dance. Wow, Molly, that's amazing. Not as amazing as me. Actually, Molly is an amazing dancer. You both are. You don't have to be in competition with one another. That's right. I only care about my own dancing and making myself the best that I can be. That's a great attitude to have, Molly. You get a special star today for being an amazing student. Really? Do I get a star? No, Sarah. You were rude to the other dancers. You don't get a star. <laughs> That's amazing! Is it morning already? Today's the day, today's the day, today's the day. Honey, why are you awake so early? Because I'm so excited. They are going to give someone a promotion at work. And I've been doing so good. I just know it's me. I'm gonna get a better job. And I'm gonna make so much more money. Well, what happens if you don't get the job? Oh, thanks for your vote of confidence. I'm just saying, honey, don't get your hopes too high up. Sometimes you don't always get what you want. Yeah, but I've been working so hard. I'm pretty sure this is going to happen. And when it does, we're going on a family vacation this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to go wake up the girls because I need to make sure I'm at work on time today. I better wake up Molly because she always has trouble getting out of bed and I literally cannot be late for work today. Molly. <sighs> Molly. 
Molly, did she just get up and run around her bed and then go right back to sleep? Ugh. Molly, I'm telling you, can you hear me right now? Yes, I can hear you. You need to get up or I'm going to be late and I cannot be late. Okay, Mom, I can hear you. I will absolutely get out of bed. Maybe. Right, time to wake up Daisy. I'm about to wake Mom and doing my aerobics and I'm just getting some cardio this morning. Okay, great, Daisy. Well, I have a really important day at work and I can't wait because I think I'm going to get a promotion. Good job, Mom. Congratulations. Have a good day, honey. I'll see you after work. Good luck with your job promotion. Thank you. What should I wear? I mean, today's such an important day. I have to look amazing. These are my most favorite scrubs. They're kind of like good luck for me. <laughs> and well, I think today is going to be a fantastic day. Molly, the bus is here. See you after school, girls. Have a great day. Well, lo and behold, my sister is late for school again. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, everybody, good morning. Just making a snap to show you my face and say, I'm still here and I'm ready to have a great day. <laughs> Gotta go. Don't want to miss the school bus. Is that Molly snoring? Well, it's not Daisy. She ran out the front door. Molly! Huh? What? What? What's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's, what's going on? Molly, you were supposed to be up 30 minutes ago while on the school bus with your sister. What are you still in bed for? Uh, I accidentally fell back asleep. Molly! Ah! Uh, I have my job promotion today. Well, correction. I might not actually get the promotion, but... Ah! Uh, get in the car! But I didn't brush my teeth yet! Brush them at school! I didn't eat breakfast! I don't know. I eat lunch when you get to school. But lunch isn't breakfast and I'll be hungry. Molly, I cannot be late for work today. Hurry, Molly, get in. Oh, no! I forgot my homework! Are you serious? Yeah, and if I don't go get it, I'm going to get detention. You don't want that, do you? Ugh! Molly! Hurry! Oh no, oh no, I don't want to be late for my promotion. Ugh, oh, this kid always makes me late for work! Ah! Now where did I put my homework? The last time I had it, I was getting a snack out of the refrigerator. <laughs> uh, did I leave it in there? No! But ooh, leftover pizza! <clears throat> Delicious! OMG, what is taking her so long? Molly! What? Ah! Uh, Molly! Oh my god, did you find your homework? Um, uh, Molly, it's up in your room. Take the pizza to go! Sorry, Mom! I bet you are. You're always sorry when you make me late for work, but today is kind of important. Come on, Molly! Coming! Oh no, I forgot my teddy bear! What? Your teddy bear? What do you need a teddy bear for? Um, it was bring your teddy bear to school day. Mom, oh, Mom, you're being kind of crazy with your driving right now. You'll have to take your teddy bear to school some other time. I cannot be late for this job promotion. Mom, stop saying. Whoopsie. <laughs> I totally paused. Mom, do you even know the way to my school? Yes, I know the way to your school. Hey, there's Daisy. Hey, get out. Mom, you just ran into the building. <laughs> um, yeah, my driving isn't that good this morning because I'm in a hurry. Bruh. Love you. Have a great day. Oh, no, my car Bruh. is stuck. Ah, okay, there we go. Molly, what have you been doing? What were you doing? You just got here. No, Molly, I didn't. I actually took the trash out for the teacher. Ugh, you're such a goody two-shoes. Whoa, I drove right past the hospital. Can you guys tell that I'm a little bit nervous? Good morning, Susie. Oh, good morning, Laura. You're late again. Oh, I know, but I, my daughter, she's just... You better go in and see him. He's waiting for you in his office. Oh my gosh, here we go. I bet he's gonna give me the promotion. Ah, I'm so excited. Good morning, Laura. Oh, good morning, Mr. Glenn. I'm so glad you called me into your office. I'm really excited this morning. And very late. Oh, sorry about that. My daughter, Molly, she's, uh, well, a little bit of trouble, but she's a good kid. She, she, she is a good kid. Uh-huh. 
Yes. Um, but here at this job, we have expectations. Yes, and I always meet the expectations with the patients. Uh-huh. So I have something that I need to talk to you about. Uh, yes, I, I agree, and I'm really excited. You are? Yeah! This is going to be an amazing opportunity. Um, yeah, starting over it can be an opportunity. Yep, a new position. Uh-huh. Well, we're gonna miss you here at the hospital. Huh? Miss me at the hospital? Wait, does this promotion mean I'm gonna be working at a different location? No, what promotion? I'm not giving you a promotion. Wait, weren't we just talking about the promotion? I was going to be making an extra $50 an hour. No, you're not getting a promotion. You're getting fired. Wait, what? F -f 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 fired I've been working at this job for years, sir. Why am I getting fired? I don't understand. You've been late every single day for almost a month. That's because my daughter Molly, she never gets to the bus on time. I always have to drive her to school. Well, whatever the reason, we need somebody who's dependable here for this job position. So we are, well... Firing you. Firing me? F -f 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 firing me? Ah! Hey, honey, you're home. How was the promotion? Did they take the picture? Did they post it on the news? Wow, must have been mind-blowing. Honey, are, are you okay? <laughs> You're so excited, aren't you? <laughs> Honey, what's going on? You're freaking me out right now. I... I... I got fired! Wait, what? You got fired? For what? You've been at that job forever! Plus, we need that money to help pay our bills. I... I was late again. Wait, why? Because Molly didn't get out of bed like I asked her to when I had to drive her to school. That's it. She's grounded for the rest of her life. I... I don't know what I'll do. I've always worked at the hospital. I love working at the hospital. And now I'm fired! <laughs> okay, honey. It's okay. Don't... don't cry. You're a very smart woman. You could get a job anywhere, and there's lots of businesses here. Tomorrow morning, you can start off looking for a new job. I'm sure you'll find something amazing. I... I hope so. <sighs> Good morning, everybody. I'm just making this Snapchat because I had a terrible day yesterday. I got fired from my job, but as you can see, I'm still smiling right now because... Today is a new day. It's actually so early in the day that um, the sun hasn't even come up yet, but I'm determined to find a new career today. So guys, wish me luck. Well, here goes nothing. I think I saw that the bank was hiring. Yeah, totally on my list. All right, let's go over to the bank and see if I can get a job there. That'd be a really good job to have. Good morning, welcome to Keep Safe Bank. How can I help you today? Oh, hi. Uh, I saw that you were interviewing for new new um, bank tellers. Oh, yes. Come right into my little office here. <laughs> Nothing fancy at the bank. Except for all the money. That's pretty fancy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty good with money, actually. I have so much in my savings account because uh, I had a steady job for 10 years. I mean, steady as can be. Oh, that's good to hear. You sound reliable. Um, do you have any banking um, experience? Uh, yes, I go in every Friday to cash my check. Oh, I meant, like, have you worked in banking? Did you go to college for it? Uh, no. Well, what did you do for 10 years then? I worked at the hospital. Oh, sorry. Hospitals and banks are a lot different. Can't work here. Oh, okay. Thank you for your time. Bye. Hopefully you'll get another check, though, so you can come back on Friday. Uh, no, I can't. I got fired. Whoa, harsh. Well, good luck with the job search. Thank you. Oh, man. Okay, that's okay. It's just one job that I didn't get. I'm sure I can find something else. According to my list, Pop Palace is hiring. They have rare exotic pets. Do they call hamsters rare and exotic? I could totally do this job. Of hamsters and dogs and cats. Welcome. Please wait for the staff. Okay, well, are you staff? 
Yes, but we have to say that because sometimes our animals get a little crazy and they think they can talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. Hey, I'm looking for a job. This seems like a great place to me. Whoa. <laughs> What's that over there? Lady, if you've never seen a monkey before, you probably shouldn't be working here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say what's that. I knew it was a monkey, but you guys have a pet monkey? Yeah, he's so crazy. Sometimes he likes to throw poo-poo at the customers. <laughs> You're so funny. No, for real. Watch out! What? Ew, it landed on my head! Sorry about that. I told you the monkey was kind of crazy. OMG! Ew, why is it blue? This monkey loves blueberries. <laughs> you get it? What? Um, yeah, I don't want to work here. But you'd be great at the job. He loves you. No, thank you. Oh, this job search is not going so well. Park is hiring and, well, I need to work somewhere. Now, where is the manager? Yo, what's up? You looking for a job? Oh, I'm a little frazzled right now, but hey, why you got a poop on your head? Oh, no, I forgot to wipe that off. Excuse me. I'll just use my phone like a mirror. That way I can see it. And oh my God, I'm on Snap. And I just sent it to everybody. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Oopsie, having the worst day ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was kind of funny. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to you? I was just doing a little maintenance on one of the pieces of uh, amusement park ride equipment and um, things didn't go quite as I planned. So, um, do you have any uh, experience? Uh, no, I'm not really into amusement parks, but I'm super smart and um, I'm sure I can do this. Okay, well, we have one rule before you get hired here. Okay, I'm sure I can meet it. What is it? You actually have to ride the rides to make sure that you're excited about the job. What? What? Why? Because we're all about bringing fun to everyone here. And if you're not having fun, our customers won't be having fun. <gasps> Go ahead, get on the roller coaster. Um, I'm not really a big roller coaster person. I hope you didn't just say that, because you're not going to get hired. Okay, fine. I'll get on the roller coaster. Fine. Enjoy your ride. It's probably going to be super fun and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it sure will be if you really like <laughs> roller coasters. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay, just try not to lose your lunch, Laura. Keep from throwing up. Nope, I'm definitely gonna. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't work here. Well, at least get me off of here. Sorry, it's a 10-minute ride. Ah! Just kidding. Get off the ride. Also, you're not a good candidate. Oh, I think I might have left some throw up in your car. That's all right. I'll take care of it. Sorry. God, I'm out of job options. We're gonna be homeless. Ugh. Well, I guess there's only one choice left. Hey, what can I get for you? <laughs> McDonald's, by the way. Oh, hi. Um, can I speak to your manager, please? Why? What happened? Did you get like, um, like a rat in your French fries or something? <laughs> what? No. I just am looking for a job. I need the manager. I want to speak to them about getting a job. Well, you're speaking to the manager. What? You're like 16 years old. You still have a bunch of pimples. How can you be the manager? Well, get used to it, lady, because you'd be working for me if you want a job at McDonald's. Ow! Ugh. Seriously? I'm working for a teenager? Ugh! So, do you want the job or not? We're a bit short-handed, and I could use somebody right now. drive through is getting crazy. Well, I guess so. I need a job. And it's better than being homeless. Well, come on back here. I'll get you a uniform. Don't forget to say welcome to McDonald's. Okay. <laughs> when is this uniform what they wear at McDonald's? Oh, we just got that updated uh, about a week ago. <laughs> you look awesome and a little bit old in that uh, Happy Meal <laughs> hat. I mean, what are you, like 50? What? No, I'm not 50. Well, like I'm just saying, you're not like 15 or 16. No, I'm not. I should be the manager of this place. Okay, here's the drive through window. Make sure you're polite, you say hello. You didn't do that. Well, yeah, okay, but I'm the manager. I get to do what I want. Uh, Take a look around the place, though. Make sure you know what everything, where everything is. I see that. Okay, fine. Oh, I can't believe I'm working at McDonald's drive-thru. 
How embarrassing that I'm a grown up and having to wear this silly hat. Dad, I really want to have a happy meal. Okay, Molly, okay. And Dad, also, what's going on with your stash? I mean, that's new. Just trying something different. It looks like you have a caterpillar on your upper lip. <laughs> Very funny, Molly. Hi. Welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you? Mom? What are you doing? And what are you wearing? <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Actually, I would be really careful what you say to your mom because you're kind of the reason why she's working here. And what? Why are you working at McDonald's? I couldn't get any other job. And I didn't want us to be homeless. Oh, honey. I'm sure something else will come along. But for now, you do look pretty cute in that Happy Meal hat. Oh. Oh, I feel so dumb. Okay, well, um, anyway, enough talking. Come on, do your job. What? Yeah, uh, Molly wants a Happy Meal, and I would like a Big Mac meal, please. Okay, fine. We love you, honey. Have a good shift. Yeah, thank you. Hey, everyone. It's me, Laura. I can't believe I'm actually making this Snapchat right now. So I'm su super embarrassed by this, but I'm wearing a Happy Meal on my head. It even has two chicken nuggets on the sides and french fries on the back. I feel ridiculous. Please just say something nice to me so that I feel better because I'm having a terrible day. Okay, bye. Oh, yay. <sighs> Another customer. Okay, just try to be friendly, Laura, even though you hate your life right now. Hello, are you gonna take my order? Um, yes, but could you get a little closer to the window? It's it's really far away. I'm not going to be able to hand you your food like that, please. Oh, how rude. I can't believe you're talking to me like that. Uh, well, I, I can't reach you from all the way over there, and I want to be able to hand you your food. Like, you know, I don't want to drop your chicken nuggets on the ground. Fine, I'll back up. You need to go to McDonald's, jeez. Um, okay. <sighs> Breathe. Breathe, breathe, okay. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Um, what can I get for you today? How about a better attitude? I mean, every time I come through here, there's somebody that's grumpy. Oh, sorry about that. Um, what can I get for you? I'll have a 20 piece chicken McNuggets with French fries and um, a Coke. Okay, um, sure. Um, that would be $35. What? $35? When did the prices at McDonald's go so high? Um, about four years ago or so. Oh, I can't believe this. McDonald's isn't even like what I really wanted. Well, you could always go to Burger King across the street. Just give me my order. Okay, fine. Bacon, is the order up yet? No, I was busy making a Snapchat. Okay, yeah, but this lady, she really wants her food, and I really want her gone. She's really miserable. Hey, listen, Happy Meal Head, I'll get it done when I get it done. Okay. I'm sorry, ma'am, but um, your order's taking a little longer than normal. Could you please pull up? What? You want me to pull up? Ugh, this is so annoying. Sorry, uh, it's just you, we're making your food really fresh. Yeah, that's it. Bacon, make that food! Is this what you ordered? Oh, we don't even serve popcorn here. What are you doing? Oh, you think that you're the manager or something? No, but I should be. This is ridiculous! Okay, I can't wait till this lady goes away. She seems really grumpy. Okay, where's she park? Oh, wait, there she is. She's still at the order window. What's she doing? Hey, I didn't feel like pulling forward. Oh, okay, well, here's all your meal, and um, you have a wonderful day. Thank you. This food better be fresh. It is. Bye. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I have to work here. This is like the worst day of my life. Bacon, get rid of, get with it. You're supposed to make the food. Uh, we have a customer and you're yelling at the manager. Yeah, hi, can I help you? Yeah, this girl is yelling at you. She didn't even give me any napkins. That's <gasps> true. I gave you three napkins. Well, I wanted five. Okay, but you're only one person. How many napkins do you need? Are you the biggest slob in the world? Uh oh Whoa. Um, sorry, lady, but obviously you don't understand how to be a good McDonald's, you know, employee and teammate. You're fired. Wait, what? I got fired from McDonald's? Wait, I just get to take a Happy Meal home. I'm hungry. You said I got a free meal on my lunch break. 
No. What? I want my Happy Meal! Worst day ever. Ew, what's that horrible smell? I don't know, I think it smells good. Oh, it's just your mom. Yeah, it's just your mom smelling like greasy french fries. Mm, greasy french fries. Mom, I think you should work there every single day for the rest of your life. Well, that's impossible since I got fired. What? <laughs>
No, not really, but um, hey, you going to the dance this Friday? Um, yeah, I think so. I was thinking about this one girl I was gonna ask. Well, um, if you're gonna ask, you better hurry up. She probably will have five other guys asking her in the next 10 minutes. Whoa, you think so? Yeah, she's really popular. Oh, I didn't think she was that popular. What? Yes, she's that popular. Who are we even talking about right now? Oh, uh, sorry, Bunny, but I gotta get going. <laughs> it's time for class. Yeah, okay. See you later, Dan. Bye. Hey, Bunny. I brought you your favorite from Starbucks like I always do. Ah, oh, you forgot to put the extra shot of hazelnut in it, Tiffany. God, can you do anything right? What? Bunny, I even paid for this myself. Do you think it's so rude? Oh, I should totally... Totally post about this online. What? You better not. Or, or I'm going to tell everybody your secret about how you farted at the sleepover. <laughs> what? You wouldn't dare. I would. Okay, Laura, don't panic. It's just a couple little pimples. No one's going to even notice. <laughs> no one. Oh, um, gee. Look who it is. It's Laura. And, oh, what happened to your face? It looks like someone cooked a pizza on it. Um, uh, it's just a couple of pimples. I don't know why it happened. I woke up like this. <laughs> um, can you say loser? <laughs> Ugh, those are gross. Tiffany, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, Laura. Nothing at all. <laughs> well, we better get to class, Bunny. <laughs> we don't want to have to miss our cheerleading competition and the... T teacher said if we missed another day, uh, we couldn't go. Well, see you later, pizza face. Uh, yeah, bye. Oh, no. Hopefully Dan just doesn't notice. I mean, there's not that many pimples, right? Oh, look. I got a new snap. What? What is this? Ugly? Uh, I can't believe I have to be at school today. It's like the worst day to be here. Why couldn't this happen on a Saturday? Oh, my phone's buzzing. What? Gross? How, how could you put this for everyone to see? Oh my god! I can't show my face in this school ever again! <laughs> Seriously, Tiffany? That was so rude. <laughs> Whatever, Dan. I was just stating the truth. Yeah, Dan, she is a pizza face. Gross. You guys are the meanest ever. What? What did you say to me? I thought you were going to ask me to the dance. Not a chance, Bunny. You're ugly on the inside. And that's a lot worse than having a couple of pimples. I can't believe you said that to me. Oh, you are so rude. <laughs> you wouldn't know the first thing about being nice or rude. Both of you are totally rude. Anyway, I gotta go find Laura. You guys are bullies. Where's Laura? I've looked everywhere for her. <laughs> well, I hear her crying. Well, unless that's the school ghost. That person's creepy. I think that Laura's voice is coming from the janitor's room. I saw once, I think on like TikTok, that you could put just like a tiny bit of bleach on your pimple and then it would burn your face horribly. What am I thinking? Laura, are you in there? Oh, don't look at me. I'm so gross. I have a pizza face. Laura, I don't think you're gross at all. Really? But, but, but. Don't listen to those girls. They're just mean and rude and evil. And I think they're jealous of you because you're so cool. Really? <gasps> you think that they're just mean and jealous? Yeah. I think you're super cool, and I'm sorry you cried. That made me feel really sad. Aww. Aww. Thanks, Dan. So I was wondering, do you want to go to the school dance with me? Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, it's not very romantic to ask you to go in the janitor's room, but, you know, smells a little bit like, well, an old moldy mop in here, but, you know, <laughs> this is where you were, so... It's okay. I don't mind that you asked me in the janitor's office. I mean, this is my office. Uh, no, I don't think that the title's that official, that he gets his own office or anything. Yeah, true. So, um... So I'll pick you up about 8 o'clock? Sounds great. This is a see you then. Bye, Laura. 
Bye! Wow, amazing! Well, 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 look who we have here, little Miss Pizza Face! You can't keep me down, Bunny. I'm going to the school dance with Dan. And he didn't mind if I had a couple of pimples. He thought it was amazing anyway. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He told me that he just feels sorry for you. No one else would ever ask you to the dance. <gasps> Wait, what? Yeah, it's true. He's just feeling like you're a total charity case. So he invited you to the dance. Oh, I can't believe it. The worst day turned into the best day turned into an even worse day. Well, sorry I had to be the bearer of bad news, Laura, but I am a truth teller, so, you know, have fun with your pizza face. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. I know what I could do. If I don't have pizza face and I show up at the school dance, then he'll have to think that I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. Yeah, watch me transform to uh, from ugly to model. Hopefully this salon can help me look like a model. That way Dan will think that I'm the prettiest girl and the most amazing girl at the dance. They got really good reviews, so here goes nothing. Oh, hi. How can I help you today? Isn't it obvious? Look at my face. What? What's wrong with your face, honey? It's ugly. What? Your face isn't ugly? Who told you that? Please tell me that you're not saying that to yourself. That's not very nice self-talk. Well, it's true. These mean girls at school told me that I was ugly. Pizza face, even. Pfft. Well, obviously, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> the only person I see in front of me is someone that is totally beautiful, gorgeous, model-like, all on her own. What? Are you crazy? Do you need glasses? <laughs> I have pimples all over. So? Pimples don't make you pretty or ugly. You seem like a pretty nice person to me, too. I'd be happy to do your makeup for the dance, but I'm not going to make you into a supermodel. Girl, you already are. But can you cover up these pimples? Sure I can. Those are so easy to cover. They taught us all about it at beauty school. Come on, come sit in my chair. Okay. Oops, I'm not supposed to be sitting down. For some reason, I thought it was break time. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, let's see what we can do about those, well, little beauty spots. They're not beauty spots, they're pimples! Yeah, but everybody gets them when they're a teenager. It's totally fine. Now, let's just put a little makeup here, a little makeup here, a little makeup here. Voila, Cinderella, you're ready for the ball. You covered them up perfectly! Thank you, Megan! Yes, you're welcome. But remember, you're beautiful no matter what, supermodel. Don't listen to those mean girls. They don't deserve your attention. Don't let them get in your head, okay? Thank you so much. You're the best salon in the whole world. Well, maybe not in the whole world, but at least in Roblox. Oh my gosh, I feel so cute right now. <laughs> this is so adorable. I'm gonna give myself like a little dog face. <laughs> I'm gonna have the best night in my life. Hey, Laura, what you doing? Oh, hey, Dan. I thought I was gonna pick you up from your house. Oh, um, yeah, I just got done at the salon and stuff, so I guess we could just walk to the dance together. Wow, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. You look really handsome. Thanks. I hope we have fun at the dance together. I'm sure that we will. I'm sorry those girls were so mean to you earlier. I, I... I hope that you didn't just ask me to this dance because, well, you didn't want me to go alone and you felt sorry for me. Wait, what? Who told you that? I've liked you for like two months now. Really? Yeah, I didn't know if you liked me back, so I didn't say anything. But then when you sent me that text, like out of nowhere, I was like, wait, I think she might actually like me. <laughs> You're right. I do like you. I first noticed you in math class. You were really funny. Aw, thanks. Come on, let's go to the dance. Sounds good. Well, I see that Bunny brought her daddy's Bentley to the to the party. Yeah, of course she did. She's spoiled rotten. She totally is. Wow, this dance is going to be so amazing. Well, look who it is. It's Pizza Face. Except for my face isn't pizza. 
It's perfect. Well, not perfect, but pretty close to it. I look amazing, and nothing you say to me is gonna make me feel bad about myself ever again, Bunny and Tiffany. You guys are just rude bullies. And besides, I have the cutest boy here ever as my date, so who are the losers now? <laughs> well, he was gonna ask me, but he felt sorry for you. <gasps> Whatever. I'm not even gonna talk to them. Come on, Dan, let's dance. Oh, I love this song. Whoa, what is he doing? Well, are you gonna dance or not? I mean, I know my dancing's a little weird, but I think you should dance with me. <laughs> are you laughing at my dancing? No, I'm laughing at the fact that you think that you're a better dancer than me. Obviously not! Look at me! I'm the world's best dancer! I'm having the time of my life, Dan! I am too! Hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah. Sure I do! Hey, Bunny! Hey, Tiffany! You want to put out a Snapchat of Dan asking me to be his girlfriend while I do this crazy awesome dance? Oh, get away from us. No problem. <laughs> And we're live in three, two, one, on air. Hello, citizens of Brookhaven. It's your favorite newscaster, Miley. Today, I have some very important breaking news. <sighs> Brookhaven has an outbreak of lyotomy. Lyotomy is where, when you catch it, you can't help but tell lies. Guys, stay in your houses. Don't leave. You do not want to catch lyotomy. Lyotomy? Oh my gosh. I hope I didn't catch it. I mean, I went to Starbucks after school today and then and, and, and I didn't wash my hands before I ate my donut. Oh no. I'm sure I'm fine. I'm probably panicking about nothing. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a little jumpy, jumpy about that lyotomy. <laughs> Someone's at my door and I freaked out. Oh, it's Brookie. Hey, Brookie, come on in. Hey, Molly. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too. So, um, you here to hang out? Actually, Molly, um, I, I have to tell you a little bit of bad news. Uh oh! What? Bad news? What is it? Don't freak out. It's not as bad as it, as you think. But I'm moving from Brookhaven. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> moving from Brookhaven? No, no! I'm sorry, Molly, but it's true. I can't help it. My parents decided they're gonna move because my dad got a new job. Brookie, no, you're my best friend. You can't leave. Molly, it's okay. It's just a short car ride away. We're not like moving to California or something. Oh, thank goodness. But will you still go to my school? Yeah, I just won't live like right next door. Well, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to go to your school anymore. I have to check. But you won't be there all day then. Yeah, I know, but I'm sorry, Molly. I, I can't do anything about it. Ugh. Brookie. I'm so sad about this. Hey, did you watch the news? What? Why are you talking about the news right now? No, of course I didn't. I was on my way over here. I didn't have time to watch the news. Besides, the news is for old people. Duh. We just Google all of our information. Yeah, well, um, I saw something on there, but wait, what was it? Something important, but now I can't seem to remember it. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe it was about having amnesia because it seems like you have it. Nah, I don't think that's what it was about. Wait, do I have amnesia? <laughs> Molly, I'm just teasing. But hey, look, I gotta go home and pack. Brookie, you can't leave! No! I'm gonna stand in front of the door. You can't ever leave. Molly, don't be ridiculous. You know I have to leave. I, I know that we're BFFs, but don't worry. We can still hang out with one another. I really hope so, Brookie. I really hope so! Um, because I can't... Live without you, yes. I, I can't. Aww. Really, Molly? Yeah, I, I, I'll get like super sick. I'll get green with illness. <coughs> oh my gosh, Molly, you're right. You are turning green. Are you okay? <sighs> no, I'm not okay. My best friend, she can't move. Molly, you can come visit me every day after school, okay? Now please, turn back to your normal color. Okay, Brookie, but, but don't leave me for long. <laughs> Wow. Rookie's parents are really rich. Hey, Molly, come on in. Welcome 
into our new house. Holy macaroni and cheese! What kind of job did your parents get? A really good one. This town is so cool. Look, we even have our own movie theater. <gasps> Holy tacos and guacamole! Molly, so tell me the truth. Um, do you really like Luke? I was thinking about asking him to the dance. Wait, what? No, I don't like him. Are you being for real, Molly? I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, I don't I don't like Luke. I, I actually just like don't like him at all. He's not even my friend anymore. Wait, what? So I've been out of a different like out of our school and a different school for like a week and you already decided you don't want him as a friend? That's right. Well what did he do? He ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch. Can you believe that? Molly, are you telling me the truth right now? <laughs> That's kind of a silly reason to not be someone's friend. Yeah, but it was peanut butter and jelly. One of my favorites. And yes, it is a perfectly good reason. Now, come on. Let's go into the kitchen and make some snacks. I'm really hungry. You can find the kitchen. This house is gigantic. Oh, yeah. Molly, I haven't even figured it out yet, but I'm pretty sure it's up here. Whoa, Brookie. Your house is so amazing. I mean, not that amazing. It's, it's kind of lame. What? What are you talking about? I thought you said you loved it. Yeah, I changed my mind. It's lame. <laughs> Molly, what's gotten into you? What do you mean, what's gotten into me? What's gotten into you? What? I... Okay. First of all, you don't want to be friends with Luke anymore, even though you had a huge crush on him and he was a good friend of yours just because he ate your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And now you're telling me you loved my house, but you're saying you don't love it? <laughs> so which is the lie, Molly? What? Nothing's a lie. I'm not a liar. Oh, really, Molly? I think you are lying. I don't think you ever not want to be friends with Luke. And I think you really do like my house. Your house is crummy and ugly and I hate it. Molly, that hurt my feelings. Do you feel bad about hurting my feelings? Uh-oh. Um, no. Molly, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Well, you need to be my friend for at least another hour because my sister borrowed the car to go to dance class and I've got no ride home since you moved to another town. But Molly, you said you couldn't even live without me. They, you'd turn green because you'd be so sick if, if you couldn't be my friend anymore. And and here I am inviting you to my new house and you're going to be rude like this? Well, do I look green now? Um, no. I think you should call Daisy and tell her to come pick you up early. Fine. I'll call her. It's ringing. Okay, fine. I can't believe it. I thought that when I moved away, we'd still be friends. Well, you thought wrong. Hello, what's up? I'm doing my pirouettes. Daisy, um, you need to come get me, like, now. What? Why? Just come to Brookie's. It's an emergency. Bye. There, are you happy? Now I'm going to make a snap about how rude you are for kicking me out of your house. What? I don't want to be on your snap. I don't care you're on my snap. No! Well, tell them the truth, then. You're being rude. I'm not going to be on your snap. Um, my friend Brookie is being so rude right now. She's kicking me out of her house for no reason. What? No, I'm not. Says the girl who doesn't even want to be on this snap. Okay, Molly. Tell me the truth. What's really going on? Are you an alien that's abducted my best friend's body? Because you don't seem like yourself. Well, think again. Excuse me. I have to go to the bathroom. I ate a bean burrito for lunch. <laughs> the bathroom's the other way. Fine! <gasps> Molly, that's not the door to the bathroom. Well, that's not my fault. I mean, why'd you make your door so big on your refrigerator? Molly, you're not allowed to just eat my food after you were so mean to me. Too bad. Mm, I'm eating this ice cream on the way to the bathroom. Yeah. Ugh. Molly, you are so rude. Ow, why are you running into me? Because I don't know where the bathroom is in this house either. Ugh. I don't know why my friend has gotten so rude. I don't know what her problem is. Mm, that's a good ice cream. <laughs> Molly, are you done in the bathroom? I have to use it. No, I'm not. Well, out of the bathroom, Molly. Why are you lying so much to me? I'm going in the bathroom. Okay, well, you have fun with that. That smell. <gasps> Ew, Molly, did you forget to flush the toilet? Huh, what? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about this giant dude in my bathroom. Gross. 
Ha! Uh, yeah, no, that wasn't me. Bali, you're the only one here. What was it, a ghost? Uh, yep, must have been. Why is he lying so much? And what did you have for lunch? It's gross in here. I had a nutritious, delicious lunch. A chicken salad. I don't believe you, Molly. You had bean burritos. I know what bean burritos do to you. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. What are you talking about? You're lying about lying. I'm not 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 lying. Hello? Is anybody there? We're going to get to the bottom of this, Molly. If it's the last thing I do. Get to the bottom of what? What are you even talking about? We're downstairs, Daisy. Come on in and pick up your rude, lying sister. What's going on? I had to leave my dance class early. This is ridiculous. Molly, tell me what's going on. Did you stink up Boogie's bathroom? What? No. Why do you say that? Because it smells awful in here and I know it wasn't Boogie. And you had a bean burrito for lunch. Hey, you told me you had a delicious and nutritious something. Chicken salad or something. You didn't say bean burrito. Um, well, this is mistaken. No, I'm not, Molly. Why are you lying about that? You love bean burritos. She's been lying about everything, Daisy. I have not. If you guys are going to be rude to me, I'm going outside. Even though I don't know how to get out of here and I can't walk home because it's too far. Molly, get back in here. We have more questions. Yeah, Molly, why? I don't know. I just keep lying and I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Molly caught my eye me. <gasps> what? 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 What's that? I saw it about it. I it. I saw. I. I can't even talk. I'm so crazy by this. I saw this um thing on the news. It's called Lyotomy. It's been going around Brookhaven. You must have moved before you caught it. Well, why don't you have it, Daisy? I don't know. Maybe I'm immune. Um, I do wash my hands a lot. Molly, did you wash your hands? What? Yes. Molly. Yes. Molly, tell the truth. Yes. She can't tell the truth. It seems like Lyotomy makes her lie about everything. Well, do you still want to be a friend? I mean, it's not really her fault. Yeah, it's not really my fault. Wait, I'm not even lying. Am I? I don't know. Oh my god. I might be lying! We need to take her to the hospital. Right away. Good idea! So, um, I'm at the hospital because I'm having a baby. Molly, why are you telling people that? Get, get out of here, Molly. That's not true. Hey, get out of my snap! <laughs> I'm here to have twins. It might actually be triplets. Oh my god, she has lyotomy so bad. They're crying inside of my belly right now. Body, you're the one who did that. The triplets are very mad at you for saying that. Oh god, someone give her something to knock her out. Oh look, no one's here. Time to go. Molly, get back here! Oh, I ran into the door. <laughs> Maybe I need to have my head checked. Hi, I'm Dr. Joan, and I'm going to be taking care of you today. I'm going to need you to lay down on the bed. I am laying down, lady. Um, no, you're not. You're standing up. Did you fall and bonk on your head? Ow. No, I'm just sitting down. Yeah, can't you see I'm sitting down? Okay, listen, Molly. If you don't sit down, I can't help you. I don't need help. I'm perfectly fine. No, she's not. Don't listen to that crazy person standing outside the window of this room. I don't know who she is. That's your sister. She signed you in. Now, I'm thinking that you live in Brookhaven? No, I don't. I live in Blacksburg. No, she doesn't. She lives in Brookhaven. She didn't wash her hand before she ate a donut. Now she's got lyotomy. Lyotomy? Are you serious? Okay, dear, lay down. Uh, I thought we already went over this. I'm laying down. Lay down! Okay, fine. Wow, why are you being so rude? Well... This is going to be a little unpleasant. Do I get medicine? Do I get to hang out in the hospital? Do I have to do homework? Um, no, no, and no. Sorry about this, but in order for you to be cured from lyotomy, you're basically going to have to get smacked in the head with this. What? Check, please! Daisy! Ah, why can't I move? Oh, yeah, I did give you just a little bit of medicine in your IV so that um, you couldn't move while I did this. Ah! Well, sorry about this, but ooh, I sort of need a nap. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a glitch in the game. It always makes me want to lay down in the bed when I'm trying to be a doctor. <laughs> Ow! Did you just hit me? Okay, try to tell a lie. You're very pretty. What? I don't know if that's a lie or the truth. It's a lie, lady. Knock me again. <laughs> How about now? Are you feeling any better? Ow! Okay, I'm better. Why you keep hitting me? Because you called 
be ugly and you deserved that. Ugh, I want to get out of here. Can I move now? I suggest you lay here on this magic cot for at least another hour. Is it really magic? Um, no, but I may have caught your lyotomy. Oh, no! It's spreading! Ah! Uh-oh. Guess you should have washed your hands before you smacked me in the head with that hammer. Molly? Are you okay? Yeah. Feeling a lot better, but I have a headache. Ow! I wonder. Holy guacamole. Where's Brookie? Uh, your line got a little bit too much for her. Oh, no. Oh, Molly, apparently whatever they gave you made you levitate. Um, actually, no, that's from my bean burrito. <laughs> Ew, Molly! What? It makes a lot of wind under me. <laughs> Get it, wind. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just text Brookie. Tell her you're sorry. Okay, here we go. Hi, Brookie. I know I lied, but it was because I had a disease. I may lie about my homework. Oh, wait, I was wrong. Um, uh, if you did your homework, you could spell it right. I wouldn't lie to you, please. We've been friends. Forever. Molly, just apologize. Why are you writing to a novel right now? It's not supposed to be a book. Daisy, shh. Please, we've been friends forever. We met at daycare. And you... Five minutes later. You've been my BFF since then. How will I ever... A few minutes later. Live without you. Molly, just say you're sorry. Okay, fine. I already clicked send. I'm sorry. Little like cat emoji. Um, or dog maybe. Look at this grumpy cat. Like, wait. I just want to send her something cute. Why do I always gotta pay for it? Oh my god! I think she sent me a heart. Did I send? Oh. Yeah, 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 Molly. She sent that to you. I hope she comes back into the hospital and talks to me. Hello, oh, Molly. She may. Oh, she texts you back. She texts me back. What am I saying? I don't know. She smacked you on the head with a hammer. Okay. What does this mean? I don't, Molly, just, just, just put your phone down. You need your rest. No, I need to know what she means. Molly, the doctor told you to stay in bed. You just had a crazy procedure. I know, but I have to find Brookie. Oh, Brookie! I'm so sorry. Where are you? What do you want, Molly? Oh, Brookie! Hi, I'm sorry I had lyotomy and, 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 uh, do you forgive me? <gasps> I don't know. Yes, I, no. Wait, what? I don't know. I mean, you are, well, an ugly person. Wait, what? Oh my god, Brookie, do you feel sort of green? Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, okay, um, Brookie, you caught lyotomy. <gasps> what? No, I haven't. Brookie, you're lying. Come on, let's go. They have to hit you over the head with a hammer. Wait, what? Are you lying? No, really, that's the cure. Oh! <laughs>I can't believe how much this place has changed since we were kids. I know, Luke. I can't believe we're all grown up now. Yeah, and about to have a family of our own. <laughs> By the looks of your tummy, any minute. Oh, don't tease me. You know I've been craving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with pickles. It's not me, though. It's the baby. Sure it is. You always did like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, but not with pickles. Ew, gross. This baby wants to eat everything. Are you excited about touring her possible future nursery? I'm really excited about it, Molly. I think this could be a really good place for her to come to school. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's go meet the manager. I love you, honey. I love you too. Now come on, let's go see if this is a good fit for our baby. Hi, welcome to Twilight Daycare. You must be Molly and Luke. Um, hi. Does someone need to turn your frown upside down? <laughs> Do you want to feel my belly? My baby's probably kicking right now. 
Uh, no thank you, sorry. I have three teachers out sick today, so I'm feeling a little stressed. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Honey, have a seat. You could have that baby at any moment. My husband is a little bit nervous about me having the baby at any second, if you couldn't tell. He's always telling me, rest! Don't get up too much! You, you need to eat more food! Oh, he sounds like a very caring husband. So, do you have any questions to start off? Yes, are you nice? I think our teachers here are very nice. Okay, um, do you feed them snacks as well as lunch? We sure do. We feed them lots of healthy snacks. And if there's a birthday or Christmas or something, we have treats too, like cupcakes and things. Oh, that's perfect. Would you like to see some of the cool facilities we have here? Absolutely. Honey, quit jumping up and down. I'm telling you, you might give the baby a concussion. <laughs> you worry about everything, sweetie. Over here is where all the kids have so much fun playing with lots of different toys. And where you're going now, Molly, is the nursery where all the babies can take a night-night a, a and a nice little nap during their day. <laughs> wow. This place is so adorable. <coughs> oh, look, honey, this is exactly what we have to look forward to. Crying babies and poopy diapers. <coughs> um, well, that sounds a little intimidating. Don't worry, Luke. I wouldn't have married you if I didn't think you were going to be the perfect dad. Aww. Well, honey, I don't know about perfect, but I'm certainly going to try to be the best dad I can. You will be, honey. You will be. Oh, thanks for saying that, honey. Hi, you're welcome. If you guys are done being lovey-dovey, I'd like to move on and show you the rest of the tour. Sure, Jenna. Sorry about that. <laughs> we're just feeling very happy these days because... My belly keeps growing every minute. Whoa, you weren't kidding. I swear, it just grew right in front of my eyes. Yeah. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. Oh, my tummy is just, it's just, it's everywhere. Wow, honey, I think you might have twins. No, no, the doctor said it's going to be just one girl. Well, is she going to weigh 50 pounds? Because your belly is getting bigger and bigger. I hope not. 50 pounds would be probably the biggest baby ever born. Oh, we weren't going to come into the kitchen or anything. I know you weren't going to come into the kitchen, but I was. These cookies look delicious. Honey, you need to eat cookies right now. This baby is telling me it's starving. So yes, yes, I do need a cookie. Uh-oh, ran into the cookie jar with my gut. <laughs> my belly is so huge. Like, seriously, I can't even reach for the cookies. Like, look at me. Uh, my stomach's in the way. I can't reach the cookies. <laughs> Honey, didn't you want to take the daycare scooter? No, no. <sighs> Running's good for me. Keeps me in good shape. <laughs> My baby's going to be born super athletic. Honey, uh, you just won't rest, will you? Nah, although I am out of breath. This stomach of mine, whew, it's a lot to carry around. Wow, look at this place. They never had a fun house where we went to school. Yes, the kids love this place more than anything. It's their favorite place to come on recess. I can see why. Let's go inside. Holy macaroni and cheese. This place is amazing. I got to look around. And lie. Oh, oh. Honey, be careful. You know the baby. Yes, yes, I know the baby, the baby. Whee! The baby's having so much fun in my tummy right now. <laughs> I got to do that again. That was so much fun. Come on, Luke. It's like when we were kids. Oh, I landed on my tummy. Ugh. I'm telling you, she's going to give our baby a concussion. I think your baby will be okay. It's all right, Luke. Look at these trampolines. They make you fly in the air. Whoa. Whoa. Honey, I don't think all that bouncing around is good for the baby. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Whoa. Honey, are you okay? It's the baby. I, I think she's coming. What? Are, are you serious? I told you not to jump on that trampoline. No, no, no. I think it's okay, but I think I I'm going to have the baby. What are we going to do? The hospital that we picked is like 45 minutes away. Don't worry. We have a hospital here at Twilight Daycare. What? Seriously? You do? Well, by the looks of it, we need to rush my wife there right away. Yeah. Oh, this baby's coming out. Whether we're ready or not. Uh -oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I 
Are you ready to have some fun? No, my wife's gonna have go into she's gonna have a baby. That's what I meant to say. We don't have any time for hanging out here anymore. Oh man, I really want to hang out with that unicorn mom though, and and play in the ball pit. That looks like so much fun. Molly, seriously, you're gonna have a baby. Get serious. Okay, okay, I'm serious for reals. I'm being serious. <gasps> no, look at my face. I'm I'm being really serious. Molly, you don't look serious. You look like you're still dreaming about going into that ball pit. Okay, just one more time. Molly! Okay, okay, let's go have this baby. Jeez. <sighs> Ow, I ran into the door! I'm too fat to get in. My belly's too big. Ugh, push me through. Okay, you're fine, Molly. You're in. Oh, look, look, there's the hospital. No one's working. Guess I'm not having this baby. Molly, are you afraid to have your baby? No, I'm just, I would rather hang out at the fun house. It looks so cool. Let's go back. Hi, I'm Daphne and I'm a doctor here. What can I do for you? My wife, she's, she's going into labor. Correction, I'm already in labor. Holy guacamole. Okay, I just need you to fill out these 50 papers, please. What? We don't have time for that. She's about to have this baby. Well, I know, but protocol is protocol. Please fill them out. Um, 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 I'll fill them out, honey. You go have the baby. Okay, meet you in there. Now, where is the maternity ward? Oh, found it. Why do they know my teachers need to know my teacher's name from first grade? That doesn't even make any sense. Everybody stop talking. Ah, I'm gonna have a baby. Wow, your tummy is impressively big. She's been eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly and pickle sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we hear that a lot here. Okay, honey, well, now I just need you to push, Molly. Ah! Congratulations, Molly. It's a beautiful baby girl. But I'm wondering if you have another baby in there. <gasps> no, 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 that's just the way my stomach is normally from eating too many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I really should start working out on the treadmill more. Where's my baby? We're going to take her to the nursery and check her out. We'll bring her back as soon as we determine if she's healthy. Honey, you did it. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to meet our little girl. I bet she's going to be amazing. Well, as soon as you're rested a little, we could go in and see her. I would love that. Attention, attention, baby nursery. The Acker family would like their baby brought into their room, please. Please bring in the baby Acker to the Acker family. Thank you. Oh no, I've got so many babies in beds right now that I have two extras that I don't even have beds for. Uh, which one was the baby Acker baby? They look exactly the same. Oh no, I'm gonna get fired. I just know I'm gonna bring them the wrong baby. Oh, they won't know, right? I mean, <laughs> this looks like the right baby, right? I think. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> la la la, la la la. Here's your little girl. Have you decided what you're going to name her? Whoa! Are you about to have another baby, Molly? Uh, no. They just came and served us pie, cake, all this delicious food. So, I was really hungry. I don't eat a lot. <laughs> this is my ate too much belly. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Um, well, here's your little girl. What are you going to name her? We've decided to name her Maggie. Oh, that's an adorable name. Oh, thank you. Um, but wait, are are you sure that one's ours? <laughs> You're so funny, Luke. Of course it's your baby. Um, are you sure? Yeah. Does she even have blonde hair? Oh no, none of the newborns have a lot of hair yet. <laughs> you won't be able to tell that till much later when I'm no longer working here. Uh -oh. Okay, here's your baby. Aw, she's so adorable. Oh. She's not even crying or anything. That's so unlike me. <laughs> well, maybe she takes after me more, Molly. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hi, Lucy. Uh, I just came back from work because my sweet little Maggie forgot her lunch. She never does that. 
Oh, I wanted to talk to you, Molly. You did? Has everything been okay? Is my baby okay? <gasps> she is so sweet and kind. It's almost like she's perfect. Wait, what? Uh, that doesn't sound like a kid of mine. But you are right. She is practically an angel. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mommy. Oh, are you sad? I just need to go potty and I'm super hungry and thirsty. Well, why didn't you tell the caretaker? I didn't want to bother anybody. Oh, honey, that's really sweet, but you don't have to be that sweet all the time. I really do. I, I don't like I don't like to bother anybody. I just I just mind my own business. I'm You're way too perfect to be my kid, I think. <laughs> Whoa, whose kid is that? They're shooting paintballs at the TV! Oh yeah, that's Hannah. She's our little baby child. Hannah? Whoa, Hannah, you look just like me when I was little. Like identically. What do you want, old lady? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you with a paintball next. Whoa, Hannah acts just like me. Wait a minute, she looks like me? <gasps> she acts like me? Hey, I, 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 I can't believe it. What is it? Mrs. Acker, is everything okay? I don't think so. Why? What's going on? And why are you hanging out with Hannah? Everybody knows she's the troublemaker. Uh-oh! Because I think Hannah might actually be my daughter. Wait, what? Have you gone bonkers? Did you get a bonk on your head? <laughs> Listen, lady, I'm no kid of yours. Actually, that's exactly what I would have said when I was her age. I was basically a little demon child. And, well, Maggie doesn't look anything like me or my husband, nor does she act like either of us. Hmm, that sounds like you've got a bonk on your head and have gone crazy. But, but I'm pretty sure that Hannah is actually my daughter. <sighs> Seriously, I'm gonna call the doctor for you. Go on in, he's gonna check out your head. What, no, I'm telling you the truth. I don't think you're my mom, lady, you're crazy. Why won't anybody listen to me? She really is my daughter. I know it. I can sense it. She's just like me. She looks just like me. I'm going to have to call the police if you don't calm down. Ah! channel today is going to be super fun because we are going to be spying on people in snapchat guys i just found out a way to become invisible in roblox and basically you have to get a bunch of really weird stuff and put it on your avatar so it makes you like this oh my gosh guys i'm totally invisible this is amazing oh i cannot wait to spy on people this is gonna be so cool okay first i'm going into six guys restaurant Oh, look, there's somebody eating a burger. Okay, um, I'm gonna spy on them. Ew, are they, do they have cheese in their teeth? Gross. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm totally taking a snap of them with cheese in their teeth. Say cheese. <coughs> what? Who, who put this? Cheese teeth? Do I really have cheese in my teeth? Who's, who's there? Is, is somebody there? <laughs> that is so awesome she doesn't even know i'm sitting right across from her <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun omg guys there's another probably star squad fan in our same server she's pumping some gas in her car guys i think i'm gonna get in her car and drive away <laughs> she's not gonna understand what's happening because I'm totally invisible and she's gonna be like wait where's my car going it's driving itself oh my god it's gonna be amazing hey where's my car hey what are you who's driving my car there it's somebody invisible oh my god somebody in the game is invisible <laughs> see you later thanks for the car get done driving it around a lot <laughs> oh man why did i name you fido i should have named you farty oh that smells so bad all right fido um 
Come on, don't go poo poo here. I, I don't want to pick it up. Please. Please don't. Oh, no. Oh. Well, I'm not picking it up. I know you're supposed to, but I'm not gonna. I just got that whole thing on Snapchat. I don't want to pick up your poo poo. Don't poop right there. Don't, don't poop there. Uh, I just got that entire thing on Snapchat. Now I'm going to tell everybody in Roblox that you didn't pick up the dog poo. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm at some random person's house right now. And I'm totally going to ding dong ditch their house right now. I'm going to ring the doorbell. And then when they answer, no one's going to be here. Because I'm invisible. All right, let's do this. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Are they coming? Are they home? Oh, there they are. Hello? Who is it? What? No one's here. Oh, did someone just prank me? Rude. Oh, okay, let's do it again, guys. Let's do it again. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> no one's on the ring camera. Okay, this is really starting to be annoying. Who is this? Whatever. This is probably some bully from school. Oh my gosh! I just saw the doorbell ring and there's no one there! It's a ghost! Ah! Okay, I'll just, I'll just go in my house and close the door. That's what I'll do. Little does she know I'm inside her house, guys. Watch this. Oh, I'm gonna take a snap of her. Like, from inside her house. It's a new snap? That's me, standing in this very room. Oh my God, there's a ghost in my house. Ah, house for sale, house for sale. I'm to the next house and I cannot wait to spy on these people. OMG. Wait, what's going on? There's a boy and a girl. Are they on a date? He's wearing a tie. Oh my God, uh -oh. Guys, let's see if the door is unlocked so I can just walk in. Hey, did you just hear that? Uh, not really. Oh, guys, I don't even know that someone's in the house. They are on a date. Oh, my God, look at that. They look so cute. Aww. So, um, uh, it's nice being at your house. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, my gosh, guys. They may even kiss. I don't know. I mean, he seems like he likes her, and she seems like she likes him. So, um, you wanted to watch a movie and eat some popcorn? Yeah, sure. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, so I have to prank these guys. What can I do? What can I do? Um, let's look in the refrigerator and see if there's something in there to prank them with. Take food. Oh, guys, look. It's floating popcorn. This is perfect. Watch this, guys. Um, do you see that? Oh my god, your house is haunted! <laughs> Ooh, he wants a popcorn! Ooh. Ah! Oh my god, somebody's in our house and if there's a ghost or they're invisible or something! Wait, come back! You didn't eat your popcorn on your date yet! Come back here! Hey, come back! Oh my gosh, they just, like, they're running, guys. I think they're going to the laundromat or something. Oh no, dead end! What are you gonna do, huh, huh, huh? <laughs> Haunted popcorn after you! OMG, there's an invisible player in here and they're being crazy. Oh man, he figured me out. Okay guys, I have to exit. But let's go see what Molly and Daisy are doing now. Oh my god, guys, I can't exit. Ah! I'm gonna, t I'm gonna tell the game admin that you're invisible. Oh my gosh, guys, he turned me in and look, my invisibility is starting to wear off. But I'm still pretty invisible. Oh, I look terrifying. Like, look at me. I'm like creepy looking. Look, I have no arms. I look like sort of like, I don't know. I do look like a ghost. That's weird. Um, Guys, I need to figure out how to get over this wall. Oh, wait, there's a door. Duh. That would be a good way to get over this wall. All right, I need to run before I get banned from this game because I came in here invisible and now I'm spying on people and taking pictures of them with Snapchat. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not supposed to do that inside the game. All right, guys, I'm back at my own house and I just want to see what I look like as this invisible ghost swimming in the pool. I feel like you see it. Oh my gosh, that is so weird looking. Oh, that is so weird. All right, I'm getting in the hot tub now. 
Oh, I can change the lights. Okay, let's change the lights. Yeah, just chilling as an invisible ghost in my house. Let's go see if Molly and Daisy are actually doing their homework right now. Molly, did you do your homework? Mom expects you to. Nah, she's not here anyway, so uh, what's she gonna do about it? Oh, really, I'm not here. Hmm? Okay, well, what are you doing, Molly? Molly, you're supposed to be doing your homework. What are you doing? Oh, look, she's playing games on her phone. Hmm, time to teach her a lesson. Uh, Daisy, do you see that floating sandwich or is it just me? Well, Molly, don't be crazy. Get back here, floating sandwich. I want to eat you. Come here. Come here, floating sandwich. Hey, hey get back here. Molly, if it's a floating sandwich, it means that the house is haunted. I don't care. I want that sandwich. Get back here. <laughs> this is so much fun. Keeping a sandwich from Molly is like the most entertaining thing I've ever done. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, sandwich, I want to eat you. Get back here. <laughs> Never. Sandwich, get back here. Oh, I have something for you, Molly. Ah, is, is that a shovel? Oh my gosh. Maybe they're going to dig me a grave or something. Uh-oh. This game is haunted. Daisy. Maybe I could take a snap of this and then teach her a lesson to do her homework. Daisy, Daisy, th 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 there's a floating shovel and it's out to get me. <laughs> a floating shovel out to get you, Molly. Don't be ridiculous. Daisy, please just turn around and look what I'm talking about. Please. Okay, Molly, fine. Where's this floating shovel you're talking about? Huh, what? It was right here chasing me. Yeah, like the floating sandwich was. Sure, Molly, sure. Daisy, did you see the snap? It says do your homework or else. Who would have taken this picture? Whoa, Molly, you're right. This place is haunted. <laughs> this is the most fun I've had in Roblox in so long. OMG, guys. Being invisible in Roblox is a blast. I got Molly and Daisy and some random players today in an awesome prank. I just had so much fun spying on people. Guys, if you want to see more videos of me being invisible with Snapchat, slam that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it'll be you that I spy on in Roblox next! <laughs>
They think that we're funny together? Yeah. You're funny looking. Molly, rude. Oh, my God. Now we have a 1,000 people liking it. Oh, my God. Molly, it went up to 50,000. What? It's been like 30 seconds. Mm. I'm getting more TikTok subscribers before I even finish this donut. Ugh. Okay, now I got a little bit of a stomach ache. And these pants are getting a little tight. Molly, we're going to be TikTok famous. So, TikTok fans, if you want to have these adorable pigtails like I have, you just have to brush your hair exactly like this. Daisy, get out of the bathroom. I have to go. <laughs> Molly, I'm making a TikTok. What do you want? <laughs> I need to use the potty. Seriously, Molly? Well, I guess it's TikTok gold. Well, whatever, but get out. Okay, TikTok fans, I'm going to show you how to get your beach body just in time for spring break. That's why right, let's start off with some jumping jacks in this new year, new you. Um, you could do all that, or you could say whatever, and sit on your couch and eat lots of donuts, till your pants don't fit, till your stomach explodes. Sounds like the good life to me. Molly! You could have ruined another TikTok. Ha ha ha. I don't think I'm ruining them. Everybody loves my personality. Holy guacamole. Macaroni and cheese. Hot dogs with ketchup. Yeah, Molly, we get the point. Food, food, and food. I can't believe that our TikTok has 1.5 billion people that are our fans. I know, right? This is amazing. We should go celebrate with um food. Molly, no. New Year, New You is all about healthy choices. And we could do something like yoga as a celebration. Is my sister kidding me right now? Like, seriously? Yoga? No, girl. You earned this. We're going for an ice cream. Well, they do have the frozen yogurt option, so I guess it's okay. Uh, Daisy Life is about balance. Sometimes that balance means eating ice cream. Don't be such an income poop. Molly! I'm just saying. Sometimes... You just really need to have an ice cream. And girl, you need one. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. What can I get for you? I don't have a scoop of everything. Molly, new you, new you. You mean new year, new you? Yeah, whatever. Get one scoop, Molly. Wow, who knew you were so bossy? Well, I am a health guru now. TikTok even said so. Oh my god. <sighs> It's Molly and Daisy. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm such a huge fan. I have to go say hi to them. Did you just hear that? I think that girl knows who we are. Nah, it must be a different Molly and Daisy. We're not that famous. Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to my TikTok. And I'm here with Molly and Daisy. And hey, we didn't agree to be on your TikTok. Molly, come on. She's a fan. Don't be rude. Okay, well, she should have asked permission first. I, 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 I don't even look my best. Molly, you always look like that. Okay, but all right. She has a point. OMG, I can't believe it. This is amazing. What? You guys are famous and you're here at my at my ice cream shop? Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Um, yeah, we really are that famous, Daisy. Yeah, I realized that. Aren't you excited? New Year, New You on TikTok is doing amazing. It's blowing up. But Molly, everybody knows who we are everywhere now. Can I get your autograph? Yeah, me too. And I want a picture. And can you be in my YouTube video? And and also, can you come home and um just like sign my cat? I'm gonna sign your cat. Oh, it's it's a cat that doesn't have any fur, so you could use a sharpie. No, I'm not gonna sign the cat. Hi, yi yi. I just want my ice cream, and and I want to just go sit down. Daisy, are you okay? You seem like you're freaking out about being a celebrity. Because, Molly, I yeah. But you wanted New Year, New You on TikTok. Yeah, but now that I got fame, I want to give it back. Come on, Molly. Let's just go home and hide out. Good idea if you don't want to be famous, which I kind of do. No, Molly, I'm telling you. I can always see into the future. Wait, you can't? Are you some sort of, like, magical human or something? No, I'm just really smart. And this, this isn't going to go well at all. Well, if you say so, I think being famous is amazing. Finally, home sweet home. No people talking about how famous we are or anything. Yeah, but seriously, don't you want to be famous? 
I don't know, Molly. Seems kind of crazy to just go places and everybody recognizes you. What if I had ice cream on my face doing that girl's TikTok? Oh, you could be like me and don't care. I'm eating a donut right now. And I don't really care if anybody sees. Hi, um, I didn't get a picture with you guys and so I followed you home. What? You can't follow us home. That's wrong and rude. <laughs> ha, ha, achoo! Ew, Molly, cover your nose. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to sneeze. Achoo! Molly, did you get sick? I don't know, maybe that fan had a cold and she got super close to me and gave it to me. Ew, germs! Well, I think you better get used to it because it seems like we're going to be mobbed by fans from here on out. We need a security camera and maybe a fence. Whoa, what's that? Uh-oh. Oh my God, it's someone who looks just like me because they saw my videos about how to do pigtails. Hey, I love you. I want to be just like you. <laughs> oh my God, that's hot shoe. Creepy. Uh, one of the fans definitely got me sick. I don't feel so good. Uh. <sighs> Molly, do you want a donut? Maybe it'll make you feel better. No, I don't want a donut. Now I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, that sounds so gross. Uh-oh. Whoa, she really is sick. If going to eat a donut's going to make her throw up. <laughs> Did you see that TikTok where Molly was like, don't work out. Just like hang out and eat on the couch. And <laughs> shove your face full of donuts. Yeah, I totally loved that one. It was hilarious. <laughs> we could be BFFs since we're such Molly and Daisy fans. I don't feel so good. Am I drooling? I don't know. I'm too busy over here vegging on the couch. Uh, 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 who got us sick? They aren't super fans. They're terrible fans. Hello, <laughs> this is Bruce Springer for Action News. Today I have a breaking story. The new famous TikTokers Molly and Daisy are very sick. If you like reality TV, you're gonna love this one. Watch them puke! Watch them sneeze snot everywhere! Watch them run to the potty! Are you serious? Get out of our house! This one's obviously rude in real life. I don't know if you should like her. Oh, uh, maybe unsubscribe. What? Don't tell people that! Rude, get out! Molly, there's only one thing left to do. Run! I don't know if I can run. I gotta go potty! Oh, hello, adoring fans. It's me, Bruce Springer. Get out of the way, Bruce. I just want to be your friend. Come back, Molly. Come on. We could be BFFs. Get away from me, crazy Daisy wannabe. <laughs> huh, huh, huh. Come on. I could build a house right next door to you. It would be so much fun, right? No, stay away from me. Hurry, Molly, come down here into my science lab. Okay, I wasn't going to tell you about this, but I've been working on a new project. Is it quitting TikTok? Well, no, I mean, we're already famous at TikTok. Kind of hard to go back now, but I have a solution. Well, I hope it's a good one. Ha, ha, chew! Because I don't feel good, and I don't want Bruce Springer, like, putting me on the news when I'm sick. Achoo! Come here, Molly. I want to show you something. What is that? A giant person made out of jello? Sort of, Molly. I haven't quite finished programming it yet. But in a moment's time, you'll see what I'm up to. Well, I don't know, Daisy. This seems a little like weird science to me. Uh, Daisy, I think you're cooking your jello, man. Don't worry, Molly, that th this is going to work. It just has to. Holy macaroni and cheese! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a clone! That's right, Molly. And I'm making one for you, too. Which means next time, when someone thinks it's us, it won't be us at all. It'll be our clone. Watch this. Hey, Daisy Clone. Hey, I just want to let you know, you guys are the best fans in the whole world. See? Daisy Clone is amazing. I had to sit down for a minute. I'm a little lightheaded about how awesome I am to design this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's Daisy. Hi, hi. I'm your biggest fan. I'm even wearing Daisy pants because, you know, your name is Daisy, just like the flower. And oh my God, where's Molly? Hi, you're the nicest fans in the world. I love you.
Whoa, she said she loved us. Did you hear that? I totally did. Oh my God, that's amazing. So um, will you sign an autograph? Sure, I'll sign an autograph. You're the most amazing fans in the world. I love you. Holy guacamole! The Daisy clone is working! Now we just need a clone of me, and it's all smooth sailing. <laughs>